panic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hello, Danger Noodles. Uh, I am now here, and I am not tired whatsoever. So I panic. Found... I actually found something interesting today. Um, apparently, uh, people who have a lot of German and Irish blood in them that uh, typically can have high alcohol tolerance. High what? High, high alcohol, alcohol tolerance. Alcohol. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think that's the only reason I have high alcohol tolerance. Uh, cause there's actually one thing that runs in my family. On my father's side. A shit ton of drunkards. I see. So alcohol, alcoholism runs in the family, so. That's probably one of the main reasons I have high alcohol tolerance. <laughs> if you think about it. Say so yes. I forgot to get the damn... Hold on. I forgot to get this, the important thing. Panic! Panic! Why is my counter not working? Motherfucker. Did you t try... Did you try turning it off and turning it on again? Okay, I got it working. Oh wait, okay, now it's working again. There we go. Now we can make sandwiches and force all the dragon babies to come out so I can murder them. I have to get off my Pokemon. This is probably the first time where we have a bunch of people in voice chat and it's just dead quiet. I like the fact that whenever you let Lemon out of the Pokeball, they just immediately start doing the Naruto run. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so tomatoes first, according to the picture. Oh, why is the table shaking? Uh, don't ask. Lemon, what are you doing? Or if there actually is an egg, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I am following the recipe according to the picture. Beautiful. I forgot to unmute, but I don't have anything to say. So I probably uh, should have stayed muted. <laughs> hey, Chu, I have a question back for you. Uh, do you have a Pikachu onesie? drug trip with apparently a bunch of weird black lines going everywhere. Why did I think you were gonna say something completely different? <laughs> Chew! Right. I mean, Bright does kind of... Oh, wait. My brain goes to oh. thinking about the fact that Bright 
occasionally does ra- we like awkward racial things. Hate but crime? I also, but I also just realized that could be interpreted in a different way, given it's Chu who's talking. Ah, no, that, no, that was actually how I meant it. Chu! Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Hey. Also, what does... I'm not the one with a history, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you. Except for a dark. Well, technically, ball Pika, table. you kill a lot of inklings, so... Foosball table. Foosball table. Um, <laughs> that is a different thing that is apparently <laughs> wrong to some people. I don't understand, but okay. You'll never understand. Okay. Uh, when hasn't this been told to you, like, multiple I times? I don't know the meaning of it, but I do know that Pika crashed through a foosball table. No. No, 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 no. no. What? No? Somebody's think. Two crushed somebody's finger in a foosball table. Oh. Well then. Why did you do it? Why, why, how you do that? Um. Actually. He was stupid enough to fall for it. Well, I technically did something equally as bad. So. My birth giver used to have a van, and you would it was a sliding door van, right? And so, why is that pink? Why is that thing pink? Wait, turn around. What? Why is that pink thing pink? What are you talking about? That's a... That's a chancy. Oh, it looked like a ball of pink for me. <laughs> um, so... So, she had a van with a sliding door, and I slammed my brother's fingers in the door. By accident. I did not do it on purpose. Yeah, so in other words, it's, like, barely at all comparable to Chew deliberately smashing another person's fingers. Yeah. You made oh, me God. do it. Oh, God damn it, racist bird. Yeah. Brett anyway. has to hunt for that racist bird eventually, which means she'll kill more than she gets. Also, I never told you what shiny I got. Guess, guess what shiny I got. I don't right? care. It's a, sh it's a Pokemon on your party. Uh, how is it on your party? How is, how is yes, it on Bright's party? Well, okay, fuck you. You know what I mean. Anyway, what if um, I don't? Like then you're an imbecile. I like how you guys were are thinking, oh, it's so bad you smashed someone's fingers. I literally, as a small child, actually created an incendiary device and it activated on a person. I think that just means you're a mini terrorist. Okay. Or worse. Should I explain? Because <laughs> it actually it was actually well deserved to the person. Should I explain? Uh huh. All right. So I had this neighbor when I was like. Uh, I think seven and um, uh, let's just say he did not like animals uh, and there was this one time where a mother bunny lay there uh, had their uh, I don't know what the baby bunnies are called but uh, they had their babies mother bunny ran into rabbit their... is the oh. rabbit is the adult name bunny is the baby's name Okay. And then hairs are something completely different. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, anyway. So many curse words I want to say, but I can't. And I won't. <laughs> anyway, the, uh... The mother bunny runs into the neighbor's yard. Uh, <laughs> while he was lawn mowing. The guy beanlines it to the mother bunny and runs them over. Oh! And don't worry, the baby, uh, the babies are fine. They're t given to a park ranger, so they are able to like grow up and be released. Oh. Well, except for one. One got blinded because of how it landed in the hole. Oh no! Like it wasn't released in a while. 
But um, basically, that wasn't the first time he done, he's done it to any animal step in the yard. He like just kills them for no reason, brutally. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna destroy his prize lawnmower. Um, so I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought if I just tilt the gas out of, out of the lawnmower, it, it will stop working forever. That's, uh, I was dumb child thinking. There was still some gas within it and some gas around it. And apparently wires were loose. I didn't know that. So, when he started the lawnmower, kaboom! Oh. <laughs> and the shed oh, went Jesus. on fire. <laughs> he was in. Wait, so when he started the lawnmower? Yeah, he started the lawnmower. I did not, I was not on fire, no. <laughs> did he survive? Yeah. Okay, so here's, here's the difference. Mm-hmm. Between what you just described and what happened with Chu. Yeah. One, there was some level of justification other than this child annoyed me. <laughs> Two, you literally did not mean to actually cause physical harm to the person and meant only to cause harm to their property. Three, the fucker ran over a rabbit. <laughs> Fucker had it coming. I said they deserved it. <laughs> yeah, like... This is... Like... This is not all that morally comparable to what Chu did. Yeah, um... Fine morals. The thing is... You are not Pika. When I was watching the fire start and everything... Because, okay, the fire went up fast. I was surprised he lived because he had, like, four other gas canisters in there. So, oh. so it spread like wildfire. <laughs> no, it spread like a gas fire. Get it right. You know what I meant, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it spread like fire that had it a very volatile accelerant. The same, but okay. But anyway. My, my, <laughs> my mind was going... Huh. This isn't a normal thing for a kid to do, and I just walked away. <laughs> like, I didn't call the police or anything. <laughs> Another neighbor saw it going on and called the fire department. <laughs> I literally just walked away for them to die. <laughs> I don't so, know why. Something I just pieced together... I'm fairly confident there wouldn't be a statute of limitations on this. Granted, you were a kid, but... Yeah. And plus, all evidence was destroyed. Like, by the time I went there, that th there was not even a shed. <laughs> Very much. And he was, like, running around a bit, I think. When I tell I guess he could left before it got too bad. Which is why I said he survived. From what I remember when looking out a window. When I heard screaming. <laughs> but yeah. This was like years upon years ago. <laughs> you can't arrest me for something that there's no evidence for. Thanks, Chu. I, I mean, you did also just admit to doing yeah. it. <laughs> you do realize that a confession is evidence in a court, right? <laughs> yeah, why do you think, like, cannibalists and shit don't go online after, like, getting away with their trial going, Welp, I actually did it, haha. <laughs> I am not good at the memory that was, game. That was actually probably the most, game. like, fucked up thing I've probably ever done. By total accident. <laughs> it was actually great an incendiary device. Of course, I'm not saying the actual word I want to use because Twitch. Yeah. Twitch is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Have y'all seen what's going on on Twitter? Yes, Elon oh. is being insecure again. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Oh, what's Elon doing? Um, he made a Twitter a Twitter poll asking, should I resign as Twitter CEO? Yes or no? Yes. I will yeah. abide by the results of this poll. And I was I was talking about the rules where you can't like link to other social media. Oh, that too. It, so I can't do my Twitch announcements anymore. Oh, nope. dinner's ready. Gotta go. Well, I just I did. Think, uh... <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Twitter. <laughs> Damn, I guess we'll never get to hear what the results of Elon asking that of the people on Twitter was. Yeah. Wait. Have I ever told you guys about the Bloodstorm? Or no, not the Bloodstorm, the Demon Storm, that's what I, I call it. I don't think so. Would you but like... I was gonna... Oh. I was gonna mention something. What? Right, right now, like, you describing all of this, mm -hmm. makes me think of the, this one story of a murderer and con man uh, from... Uh, I think the... Oh, I want to say that his main crimes happened in... Uh, throughout the 50s in the UK. Where he got arrested for... Uh, for, for enacting a con. And then while he was in prison, he starts studying the law, trying to find legal loopholes as to how he can fucking go out and con more people and he finds uh, a term in Latin that is used within the justice system there and I believe also here uh, that he with, his, with all of his understanding of Latin as a language roughly translated to say no body no crime uh oh there goes two yeah. Okay, so he takes this to mean if there is no body for a murder, then there was no crime. Uh-oh. So, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the rest of his marks, uh, ended up, uh, being dissolved in acid. But eventually, he was caught on to because he was super fucking stupid and sloppy, and his entire motivation was trying to gamble get more money for gambling so he was super reckless okay and then the police eventually mm. catch him and he just like very triumphantly explains literally every part of his crimes before the police take a moment and explain to him that the term that he was poorly translating didn't mean no body no crime it meant the body of a crime it's a term used to describe, uh, or used to basically say that for a crime to be punished, you must first demonstrate that a crime has occurred. Which, uh, one, he pointed them to his shack where there was still some, some remnants of people goo. And two, he literally admitted it to his crimes. So there was demonstration that a crime had occurred. Mama. He, he was executed. <laughs> Even if he didn't do any crimes, uh, he deserves to be executed anyways for just pure stupidity. I wonder if, I wonder if he'll ever, if, if that person was ever put on an episode of Dumb Ways to Die. <laughs> what? Yeah, a thousand a ways to die. Oh, a thousand ways to die. Yeah. It's a show. Dumb ways to die. No, I was thinking of the song. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because it's it's a train <laughs> PSA. <laughs> the song. You want to know the worst part about that dumb ways to die? You want to know a terrible fact? What? They started doing NFTs. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah. May they drown in debt. Yeah. New dumb ways to die. Crippling debt. 
I have several loan sharks after my kneecaps, and they're holding my niece hostage. Would you like? To... I'm typing. Oh my God. I'm, I'm typing this as they are preparing the bats. <laughs> <laughs> Please buy my NFT. Please. Would you like to buy my <laughs> N NFT? It's called crippling debt. <laughs> It's oh, called Carpal God. Tunnel. <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to hear about the Demon Storm? Uh, I am intrigued, so yeah. God damn Wait! It. <laughs> the, oh no, fucking, Elon Musk. Fucking oh, Lemon just it. killing innocent Pokemon. They are not the, the target. But anyway, on to the demon storm. Basically, there was this one time when I worked as a, a ride specialist for our amusement park. Uh, never doing that again. Fuck, no, fuck that. But, um, oh yeah, where you uh, gained the... Wait, was... The short oh, no, or was that a, a different one? No. Are you... it, yeah, the short devil. That wasn't the short devil monitor. yet. This was a year before that. God damn it, Lemon. Anyway. You uh, had you had yet to mega evolve. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh basically the reason why we call it Demon Storm is here's how it, it went. Uh when I went to work, uh I I always look up to check how the weather was gonna be and let the let the person know because parts of the ride go outside so obviously if it starts raining bad you can't have that ride operating obviously and so i look up and like the the, the clouds were like putrid black color and i was like welp this is gonna be a shitty day but well guess i'll die and it happened, it was like around like 2 o'clock and uh, at p.m. That was, I was like that. So, fuck off, Lucha. Anyway, basically uh, around uh, 7 o'clock p.m. So a couple hours goes by. Uh, we get notified that all rides are to be shut down and everyone stay at your rides. Uh, so we were put in the, the shelter area, which basically has very well enclosed doors in case in case of flooding. However, there is a hole, like, uh, I don't, I don't probably, I think it's like a, a, about uh, six inches uh, high of the door, and it's like a small hole. Allow air to come in, so you don't suffocate. <laughs> um, so after about ten minutes, water starts coming through the hole. That's not a good ah. sign, because <laughs> that means that there's hmm. six inches of water, or more. Because, like I said, it's a small hole, hmm. so it's not going to come pouring yeah. in. Uh, but, uh, then we get notified, like, hey, uh, you guys need to get a fuck home, <laughs> basically. Um, but before we do, we just hear a ginormous explosion happening right next to the, next to the wall of us. So we're like, yeah, I think it's definitely time to go. <laughs> so we start leaving. And it is way higher than six inches of water. Like, it's like above my kneecaps in water. That we're just trudging through. And I'm just looking in front of me, and it's just like lightning bolt after light. It's like literally seven lightning bolts going off at once all over the park. Um, you, you probably should have stayed inside at that point. <laughs> Well, they told us to leave, so... Probably would have yeah. been safer. And I also... You're like... Up... Yeah. Uh, bright, bright. I want what? you to be 100% honest with me. Yes. Are you a person 
that is very at peace with your existence, or is your existence just the quote, fuck it, we ball? Shush. Anyway. No, I want an answer. This is a legitimate Maybe. question. I'll I want you, a legitimate answer. Tell, you later, tell me, please. I'll tell you later, Dragon. Let me finish the damn story. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh my God. So I turn over because I'm I was curious to see how, uh, like what caused the explosion. I look over. The four titanium generators were torn to shreds. The whole power for the ride just torn to shreds. My assumption, probably the lightning bolts. Don't but. you love it when you look up to the sky and Thor just goes, you know what, fuck that machine in particular. The funny and thing destroys is, it. Uh, while I was looking forward, I decided to look up the sky and it was the reason why we called it the Demon Storm, because it was blood red. Ugh. And it was constant lightning going all over the park. It didn't even stop <clears throat> till I got all the way to the front of the parking lot. Which, if you're not sure what it is, it's like like a mile and a half up from where I was at. That had run through constant lightning and heavy rain that felt like hail. Like it was absolute hell. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. I go home, because obviously I'm not staying in that fucking storm. <laughs> we get... So... We get... I get notified saying, Hey, uh, you're getting paid off, uh, for the next two... For the next... all the rest of summer. Because, uh... Half the park is demolished. <laughs> well... Oh my god! Why did... What did Thor have against that specific amusement park? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what, what, what happened? Actually, no, I have an idea. Here's my theory, okay? So there's some, like, tired worker, right? And the thing is, so the tired worker just got tired of working there, but wanted paid off. So they were like, hey, buddy, Thor, hey, I, I need you to do this thing for me. And Thor is like, all right. Get me, get me some, get me some, some alcohol and I'll do it. And they were like, all right, bet. And that's what happened. All right. So, uh, I did find out a year later what might have <laughs> caused the, the massive amount of destruction. But before I do, um, the only area that wasn't really hit by the storm, which was, was the Snoopy area, the children's area. <laughs> it was barely damaged. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it does sound like Thor to spare the children. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, I found out a year later that um, the reason why uh, most of the storm was very much destroyed by the storm is instead of using, uh, instead of having a bunch of holes around that would conduct the lightning damage and not using uh, very he high amounts of conductive metal yeah they did uh, they use metal they should not have used that would cause a massive amounts of attraction to lightning and they did not have lightning poles if you know what those are I think that's what they're called yeah that makes sense yeah lightning yeah. rod lightning rods yeah they didn't have those so like the the fucking park got destroyed because it got, like it attracted the storm. Mm. Who would win? Capitalistic hellhole on Earth uh, that is very poorly built, or Thor <laughs> having a fucking rager? However, it was it was still terrifying to look up at the storms to see constant bolts of lightning. And yeah. blood red. Like, that was <laughs> terrifying. Which is actually, uh, why oh, yeah. I'm still slightly traumatized by it. Like, if I see, like, a different color within storms or whatever, I just don't go outside. Yeah, understandable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, actually, when I was 
younger, I walked through like uh, a dust storm that was like that made the entire like uh, the entire my entire vi like that pretty much made everything like orange. Yeah. Oh God, Trump sent the dust storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This was before Trump. <laughs> Like Trump even, still guessing. Yeah, yeah well. I, I don't know, think... but like, Trump I don't think Trump's omnipresent. You don't know that. Is one. Um. Thing... Oh. I no. do actually. Okay. Anyway, there's one thing I am glad about that one part of that park is the ride that I worked at is shut down and taken away. Even though it's one of the first rides at the park. Um, the reason why I said shut down is because they did not keep up, like, adding different metals to make it better over the years. Uh. So it was getting very worn down. There was even one time where they actually had to change the metal because for only one part because the beam, which, if you don't know, for roller coasters, those beams hold uh, the bars in place, which keeps you safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beam split and started going down diagonally. Reacher. Now, if you don't know Cutter how. Stoke. Now you don't know how bad this beam was. Basically, it was near the drop off. So basically, if the roller coaster wants to go over it, uh. The rails would have gone down, and people would have plummeted. Now, if you don't know how bad this is, this was our fastest ride in the park. It can go up to 78 miles per hour. And at oh. that point, it would be at the 78 miles per hour. That means you would be plummeting at 78 miles per hour. Oh. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Now. You need structural integrity for your amusement park rides. <laughs> Fucking losers. There's actually, uh... There actually has been a person who's died on it. Oh. Just... Just... Oh, sorry. I was gonna make the joke that... Just... Just go on the amusement park rides without... Uh, without the, like, support structures, you fucking betas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, death is for alphas, obviously. Uh, how they died is because during the time when they they were having this right go around at, at the very beginnings when they died, there weren't a lot of laws pushing, like, in World uh, all across the U.S., there was a lot of laws that pushed to make roller coasters really fully safe at that time when that was created. All right, uh, safety restrictions on it snapped, and they got flung 78 miles per hour. Wait, no, not 78. It was only 55 because they it couldn't go as fast at that time. But I mean, that's still uh. fast enough to kill you. Well, no shit. <laughs> and I don't fully believe it because I haven't seen any proof. But they say that the the ride's haunted. I mean, I... don't you believe plenty of things without any proof? Can you try and shut the fuck up? Back <laughs> <laughs> my religion like what? this is shit. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> what? what? I mean, what? it could be haunted. Let's take a moment to have a discussion about epistemology and the fact that there's no way to reliably demonstrate that reality exists. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I am re reality. The main reason why I don't believe it was haunted is because I have I've worked there for like at that ride for for a full year. 
and I did not see any sort of evidence of any form of haunting. I worked both day and night. So obviously, I, it, something would have happened at some point. But nothing happened, except for the ride constantly breaking down and, and being a pain in the ass. Maybe the ghost didn't like Irish people. Oh my god. It's the racist ghost. Yeah, that's actually one thing that, that does piss me off at times, is that people don't think uh, Irish people are a race. I'll see. <laughs> I mean, to a large extent, for the most part, Irish folk here in the States have been integrated into the concept of whiteness, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it, it's... Still technically a race, though. Like, if you were to go to Ireland, it would definitely... be a race of people, I think, right? Yeah. It's just not much in America. But if you were to go to the country... Yeah. Oh, another thing. I, I meant this person that I literally called him a fucking dumbass. Because they, they outright said, and they still believe to this day, I, I still work with them. They, they believe that the Irish people created all alcohol. What? Okay. Oh my god. So they believe that Irish people created sake? Yes. Yeah, you know. Irish people. You know, the alcohol that is very, very, very much uh, not created by the Irish. <laughs> As we all know, uh, the, I the, the Irish bloodline started with Jesus. <laughs> well, wait, no, come to think of it, wine pre-existed existed before Jesus, so the Irish, are, the, the, I don't want to keep doing this gag. <laughs> this hurts my brain. <laughs> and my sinuses hurt. Huh. I don't know if the person that thinks, like, genuinely believes that the Irish made more all alcohol is worse than the person that commented on the Hades 2 trailer that the fact that all of the Hades 2 characters were shades of grey and not one being white well, then, was bad. A bad thing. No, I don't no, know the, which one's worse. The second worse. one was worse. Okay, yeah. that. The, yeah. the Hades one is worse. Yeah. The Hades I, one is I still can't, worse. I can't believe the Hades one. I, it, it hurts my brain. It does. I don't I'm, understand I'm racist sorry, people. I'm sorry, what? I put it, I put it, okay. I put it in a general family. You scroll up a bit. Up, uh, scroll up. Actually, I'll put it... Uh, okay, here. It's... This one. It's this one you say, as if I can see your screen. It's, it's a reply. I put it in reply in general family. Yeah, but... People confuse me. Can we obliterate all people? Yeah, so I decided to ask them the re reasons as to uh, why they think the Irish created, you know, all forms of alcohol. Would you should mm -hmm. like to know the reason. Um, let me guess. Uh, I'll, I'll take a guess on the board that it is, oh, Irish people are alcoholics, so ha they had to make all alcohol. You you almost hit it full on the mark. They said they said that 
all Irish people are alcoholics and are born alcoholics. Do they genuinely um, believe that a baby is popped out and the first thing that the doctors do is like, Ah, hey, you little sport, I'll give you a, a thing of gin. That, do they, <laughs> what? That was not a good Irish accent. Uh, no, but... it wasn't. <laughs> that all was right. terrible. So, as, as we all know, <laughs> as we all know, the actual source of alcohol that the quote-unquote globalists don't want you to know about is the fact that alcohol is actually sourced from uh anytime an irish baby is born they come out <laughs> of the womb with 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 a fucking bottle of beer they use the womb juices to make alcohol oh god oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's, ugh. Oh my god I mean, there's probably enough juices in there, but, like, I don't think that's very uh, ethical or humane or just, you know, right. Let's stop. Let's, let's <laughs> stop talking. We're not. We. No. <laughs> All right. So anyway. the, conver the conversation about womb juices is, is over. Anyway, so I decided to ask them, uh, you know, oh my God. what their favorite alcohol was instead of just calling him a dumbass again mm -hmm. um they said their favorite sh their favorite irish drink is a mixture between sake and vodka oh my god he said vodka oh oh notoriously my... russian they literally said sake they literally said sake I'm... as we oh all my know as god. we all so know i wasn't even that wasn't <laughs> listen Listen, as we all know, every island on Earth, therefore, any island made a drink. Let me, let me go look. Are you, are, yeah, you gonna. I think made I just made something. Vodka. Got it. I'm pretty sure it was the Russians. Yeah, same here. I think it was the Russians. See, according to a legend around 1430, a monk named Isidore from Chudov Monastery That's Russian. inside the Moscow Kremlin yep. made a recipe of the first Russian vodka. Having a special knowledge and distillation devices, he became the creator of a new, higher quality type of alcoholic beverage. I told you it was Russian. I mean, yeah, I was thinking it was Russian, but I thought it'd be good to double check. I know my alcohol. Watch it actually be. Fr I was I was waiting for Google to actually say, "Oh yeah, Irish person made it." <laughs> uh, some Russian monk. Yeah, I would have laughed if it actually was created by an Irish person. <laughs> and we were just wrong this whole time. <laughs> Then, okay, then it would be like, then they're like, then they would be half, I, they, they still would be wrong, but like they would at least have like one half of their like drink, favorite drink would actually be <laughs> made from, made by Irish people. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many dumb people on this goddamn planet? Um, humanity. Uh, yeah. Have you I mean, seen uh, yeah. the Amer Have you seen the American education system? Do you uh, uh, do you know who's in the American education system? Barack Obama. <laughs> I actually <laughs> wanted to say Obama too. <laughs> I wanted to say Obama, but uh, no, no, neither, 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 neither one, neither one are correct. Uh, I am in the American education system. And I would say Me I'm too. pretty smart. Oh see. yeah, it's so is Pika. Oh, okay. So is Pika. Also, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, so is also Shoot. I said so Pika. is also Bright, but... What? Is she? I said, I was... Yeah. Right. Aren't you, like, taking classes? No. Oh, so well. technically you're in the American education system? I thought she dropped of... out. 
I kind of. It's from Skillshare, which is not part of any school. Yeah. Oh my god, the birds! So, like, God Why damn are you it, killing lemon. your family? Fuck oh, off. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Dragon, there's one thing I wanted to say. Uh huh. Uh, you know how you said, why are so many dumb people on the earth? My immediate uh -huh. thought was to say, I don't know, why do you exist? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was my immediate thought, but I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, you you probably should have. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Okay, Darren, I guess you missed it. Okay, Dragon said, "Why are there so many dumb people on, on the earth?" My immediate thought was, "I don't know. Why do you exist, Dragon?" Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Dragon, no, like... came, Dragon came here to be dumb and like women. And, mm -hmm. and we're all out of women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh okay, I, I can I can't say who I'm smarter than. Actually talking about liking women. I am no. reading Sappho's poetry right right yeah. I need to. Um, I need to actually sit down and read some of that. Can I? Can I read some? Before no. before I do. Before I do. Before I do. Before I do. Uh, I can't believe some people genuinely believe that. Oh, Sappho wasn't a lesbian because she was married to a man. You want to know the name of her supposed oh, yeah. husband? <laughs> you want to know? Wait, what's the name? It's... Uh, you want to know? That is not. Let's get the actual name. Let me go look it up. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? It's, 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 uh, genitalia from Men's Island. Wait, what? It's, okay, it, I think let, it was me, like... let me go. Let me go. It's, it's uh, Dick. It's, actually... it's, I think it's Dick Sin or something. Uh, it's like see. something like that. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. From Men's Seth Island. Oh. Well, I I looked. I'm looking at it right now on Google, but I can't say what it actually is. Though I can only say dick. I can't say what it actually is because it's. Yeah, I don't know. You know. Big nah. Listen, no one's Are going. Let you know what? Let's put it this way. This is a matter of historical record. Okay, so since it's historical record, Sappho's husband on record is her supposed husband's name is Dick, uh, not Dick, Penis. Penis from Men's Island. That's what it translates to in English. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Sa Sappho said she had a husband. The husband's <laughs> name was Circylus of Andros. Which roughly translates to penis from men's island. <laughs> oh my god. That name is making me re remember my favorite Markiplier video, which is the Not a Panai is four, uh, 3000. <laughs> it was a base that. siege video. You know what that is. Actually, like, apparently. I could be wrong. I did hear this on TikTok, so this is probably oh. wrong. Yes. I have not fact-checked this. But, apparently, according to... Yeah. According to someone, uh, the one of the... You know, I'm just double-checking this before I make myself sound like an idiot. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Name. I have I have it open. You could you could tell you me and I can check it. Uh, I already think so, okay. of you as an idiot. Dragon. So, apparently, the oldest piece of literature that we have found was from a woman, a bisexual woman, uh, writing love poems. That is the oldest piece of, like, literature we have. Like, not writing, but, like, literature. Like, poems and shit. Is from a bisexual woman just going off about love. Let's see, from my own... Yeah, I was gonna say, that sounds a touch dubious. It, like, we'd have to be using... 
uh not quite sure what we'd be doing the main when when you look up the oldest piece of literature what you get is the epic of gilgamesh mm. i think her name was it started with the e according to someone but i think my favorite piece of literature is the odyssey mm. from homer yay i have not Actually, I have read some of the Odyssey. It was pretty good. I actually read the whole thing. Like, uh, I think I read it like 15 times when I was in high school. Big fan. Big fan of the Odyssey you are? Yeah, I really like Greek and Roman mythology. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Greek mythology it was... It's like amazing. I love yeah. it. Oh, and also oh. reminds me I need to I need to continue playing Hades and I will need to get the new Hades game. Yeah. Yes. I hope okay, that yeah, it, I hope that it's on Google Plus or not Google. What the fuck? Google, Google Plus uh, is dead. Yeah. That's Stadium not game? what I mean. Uh Stadium. Xbox Game Pass. How did how did I what? mix those up? I don't know. Look, my brain's my brain's stuck in fucking gay research mode. Give me a break. Okay, can I read some of <laughs> Sappho's poems no. or one of them, please? One of them? I don't really feel up to that right now. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, my no is actually justified. <laughs> like I'm trying to think of uh how it could find this awful. I have this. I have Ooh. murdered six hundred and ninety-five babies. I don't think that's something to like <laughs> parade around. That's gonna be right. Flipped. That's gonna be clipped. Just be saying I have murdered six hundred and ninety-five babies. <laughs> Let's see. I do. I do know that. Uh, the first novel was written by a woman. Okay. How about this? First female. And head do na na, head 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 do do na. Well, it's first known author uh, is likely can spell it. Uh, e n h e d u a n n a. I should have just said first author. Why did I say first piece of literature? Yeah, the world's first known author is widely considered to be that name. A woman who lived in the 23rd century BCE in ancient Mesopotamia, approximately 2,285 to 2,250 BC. Uh, she is around. So four thousand over four thousand years ago. Yeah. Wow, had she? Yeah, she said something I haven't heard in a long time. Uh, BC. What? what? I only hear like BCE. I don't really hear BC. I haven't heard BC like once in like middle and high school. When I was in there, they changed it to BCE. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, everyone knows what BCE stands for. No, I yeah. do not know what the yeah. E stands for. It's before Common Era. Oh. It's it's basically the more secularized way of describing mm -hmm. uh bc and ad because it it kind of it kind of fucky to have the entire uh worldwide scientific community that works in history be operating off of a system that exclusively like is specifically acknowledging just that one that one guy who who got fucking executed in Rome. Right. Wait. Do we have? 
I know this is kind of fucked for a Christian saying this, but do we have any proof that Jesus existed? <laughs> uh, there's there's a decent bit of contextual evidence. Okay. Um, if I'm correct, like the biggest thing is one. There's like a high likelihood that, like at this time in the Roman Empire, there was a decent amount of, uh, people who were basically going around doing what Jesus did. Right. Basically going around doing what amounted to end of times prophecies and uh we do have records of the roman uh military man pontius pilate executing someone on behalf of uh the local church mm -hmm. so it does seem that there is a jesus that existed in reality it's just that one a lot of the myths surrounding jesus would have been built up over the course of uh right almost a century and two it seems very likely that a lot of the myths surrounding jesus were basically conglomerations of the various jesus-like figures at the time mm -hmm. yeah different like people and everything yeah. Now, obviously, Wait. to to clarify, this obviously doesn't mean that practicing with Jesus as a deity is invalid. It's just also important to understand the difference between myth and what likely happened in reality. Yeah. Does that mean, okay, mm -hmm. since it was very possible that Jesus was taken from several people, does that mean Jesus is a mech? <laughs> Is, no. is Jesus a flesh mech? <laughs> is These... Jesus bright as the resident oh Christian? Is God. Jesus a flesh mech? Yes. Oh my, <laughs> oh my there, God. There you have it, folks. Jesus was <laughs> okay. a flesh mech. Okay, I'm going to put, put that in quote. I'm going to put that in quote. One sec. Okay, but was I'm, I'm not gonna put this. I'm still gonna find that fun. That so funny. it's a flesh. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Jesus is a flesh mech. There we go. Put that in quotes. I, I'm still gonna find right. it funny how it was the Christian in the group who asked us if G Jesus existed. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a fair question to ask. Well, it's a fair question to ask, especially if you're Christian. Yeah, like, like if if your faith relies upon uh, Jesus having been an actual demonstrable historical figure, you're at best going to have some pretty loose evidence. But that's the thing is like the vast majority of people's religion is not actually based upon something like that. Uh, there's I'm, I think I might have rambled about it at one point, but within sociology, uh, religion is uh, viewed on having basically a trinity <laughs> of aspects where you have belief, behavior, and belonging. And belief okay. is... Um, oh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Sorry. Belief go ahead, is I'll only... Say yeah. Belief is almost always drawn from one of the other two. So behavior mm -hmm. speaks to things like engaging in ritual and having personal experiences that you perceive to be the gods or a god. And belonging is that sense of, hey, I'm at this church. These people make me feel at home sort of thing. Most of the time, people's belief that a deity exists is drawn from one of these two sectors rather than pretty much any other, like, logical uh, line of reasoning, which that does happen. I have met, a, like, at the very least, I have heard of a handful of pagans who came to their positions using pretty much nothing but... Uh, logical processes but they are in the vast minority compared to people who 
basically just had a powerful experience and explored that experience. Yeah, you can go ahead, Adirni. So I was going to say, um, look in uh, uh, Alphabet Mafia. I just posted something in there. Uh, you might have seen this patch. You might not have, since it's... But it, I got it from... Uh, Katia's server. Also, I found another translation for Sappho's supposed husband, and apparently it's Dick's all cocks from Man Island. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the one that I heard. <laughs> Either way, very, oh very much. <laughs> right? Wouldn't you marry a man that that's named that? Uh huh. No. Totally. Also, I love this. We need to replace all saints with Blaha. Blah. Blog. <laughs> oh, yeah, and uh, have you seen the, like, uh, have you looked at the, like, cute little uh, other thing I put in there? The, like. Uh, I will have to look at that later. I don't feel like opening Tumblr. There. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just like a series of like cute little comics. Oh. I, I really hope none of these cute comics are from Blobby because, um. Oh. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, Blobby. It's. Wait, what's wrong? Wait, pink, what? The pink blob fuck? The pink blood. Well, I I'm Lock asking for comic guy. I'm asking for details. Uh, they decided to yeah, make. Why? Okay, so they thought in all of their wisdom that they would make a really weird backhanded comic. Uh, comic that are like, hey, have you heard about the stuff going on with Kanye? And they're like, yeah, but I don't really care because. You know, is is I just stuff, I just stuff going on, and they're in, in, even though Kanye's cause because of what the fuck Kanye is spouting and shit is causing actual harm too. Uh, instead of addressing it, uh, instead of addressing it, they decide to go and make a really shitty, overused trope of why why use a love triangle triangle books when you can just make them all date instead of addressing the fact that they made a very uh. Just, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, this is. Uh, it's not, and I don't think so. No, it's a different. Go look. Would it be on their Twitter? Blobby, the blo yeah. Yeah. I think the only way they addressed it is well. I didn't do anything wrong because I'm Jewish, and it's like, yeah, but you made other Jewish people uncomfortable. Ooh. They're like, yeah, you should probably, you know, take the comic down. I don't think they did. But I haven't checked, so I could be wrong. But it's like, you, you made other people uncomfortable, mate. Like, even if you're Jewish yourself, like, take the thing down. I oh, asked Twitter. I open it up, and the first thing I see is Booba. Blep? Do you know when it was uploaded? Oh, it was when Kanye went on InfoWars. Um. So around then. Anyway, well, I'm just looking for that. Uh, I was gonna do what was say uh, before Dragon did their thing. Uh, Sorry. Uh. There's one thing I do remember in middle school that did piss me off. Um, there's this one history teacher that I did not like because they refused to, t uh, to teach about Vikings because they said that they, there was no proof of them existing. What? What? Okay. Okay. 
But there, there is, there is so much proof of them existing. I'd say there's, I'd say there's more proof of them existing than there's proof of, like, I'm sorry, Bray. There's more proof of them existing than there's proof of Jesus existing. But that's, that's kind of easy because there's. That's kind of easy because like. More, like. Ways to like. Come pat like to collect proof and like and, and like uh, more different like ways to express yourself mm -hmm. like have come about since Jesus existed so yeah yeah uh uh real quick uh child mm -hmm. blobby and friends has since apologized and taken down the the uh the comic I don't know, it's still fucking weird, and how they responded at first is just... Well, a lot of people it... are kind of mm. not with them anymore. Let's see. I mean, I don't even... I haven't been able to see the actual comic, but let's see. Oh my, I should probably have clarified that I'm Jewish, and so is Lily. I feel like people are taking this at face value. Anti-Semitism is obviously something to worry about, and we should not dismiss it. The last panel was supposed to make that. Yeah, that the last like... panel did not. I need to... Uh, what should I look up? The lobby... Uh, one moment. Uh, okay. I feel like... Yeah. So, um... So... There was a reason why uh, that it really pissed me off. Because one, it was a form of history that was taken out. And two, uh, in the previous year for history, uh, I mm -hmm. did it a, a project on the Ufert source. I think that's how they're, how, what they're called. I'm not great with that type of language. I don't know, remember how it's spelled either. But basically, there are like swords where we still to this day don't know how they were made. Yeah. And it, it it was very interesting to me. Like also like also with that project I also did the anti kythera mechanism, if you know what that is. Uh, yeah. Greek fire. Uh, the giant balls of Costa Rica. And fuck, what was the last one? Damascus Steel. Well, we got we mo may only know most of that by now. But when I was studying Greek fire, they actually said that there's a highly chance that petroleum was used in it. Mm. Which is kind of odd because at the time, petroleum wasn't really accessible. Who knows? Right. And they also nailed it down to most likely being a Syrian person who, who created it. From what I remember, but it, it's probably changed by now because it's been a couple years since I did the project. <laughs> this is like middle school. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean... Looking at this, like, yeah, it's kind of iffy, but they both, like, clarified why they made it and apologized. I don't see much of an issue here. Like, based upon past behavior, I think this it's fair to say that this is literally just an unintentional slip-up. Also, Hatch, that's actually one thing I wanted to ask you. Did I actually say the name of the source correctly to Ooferts? Or is it, like, pronounced differently? I'm not sure if you Oh, uh, sorry. What what did you say? I was, like, very the, focused uh, the on... The Ooferts source, like, the, the Viking source. I forgot. Uh, is that how they're pronounced, or...? The... The... What? I don't know. Say it the, again. I don't think uh, the, you pronounced it right, but... Uh, the, I know it starts with the U, like, the Ooferts, or something like that. It's, like... Viking source, we don't know on how they were made. I think that's what they were called. 
I don't know, it's been a while since I did the project on them. But I knew uh -huh. they were used by the Vikings. Viking swords. Mystery. I'm just, I'm just typing in Viking swords mystery. Right. Let's see. Uh, mystery upright Viking swords weapons. Much by one. Yeah, I, I'm not. Oh yeah, Bert Viking swords. Okay, so you did find it. I did say it wrong. My bad. <laughs> it, it does start with a U, right? Yeah, U-L-F-B-E-R-H-T. Yeah. And they do look really cool looking. It's yeah. Like their age. I mean, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, yeah, that's that's the thing about archaeology and all this is you're going to stumble across things that kind of leave more questions than answers. Mm -hmm. That's why, uh, that's why one of my favorite fields of archaeology to occasionally come back to and look at is experimental archaeology. Yeah, which is basically, uh. A field of archaeology that actively tries to test potential explanations for how something was done. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, there was like a team of experimental experimental archaeologists that basically recreated Stonehenge using only methods that would have existed to the people that lived there at the time. As well as another team that like recreated how they could have moved and uh erected the moai at eastern island mm. eastern island. it's a really cool field to look into oh i know another thing that i did the project on with the, that group project the iron the iron pillar of delhi the the pillar that doesn't rust i forgot about that mm. thing like it's an ancient pillar that does not rust we don't know why. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they added like some sort of metal when making it that uh, to keep it from rusting. And we just don't know what it is. My first thought would be meteoric iron. Yeah. As if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, meteoric iron has like has a higher resistance to rusting. Hmm. Yeah. My one theory is that, you know, Greek fire, the formula for it, I have a feeling it was in the Library of Alexandria. I think that's what it, the place was called before the Romans burned it down. Library of Alexandria. Yeah. yeah. It w it wasn't specifically the Romans. It was the local Christians. Oh, local Christians. Yeah. <coughs> the Christians and then got the guy. The <laughs> and and then and then the the leader of that. The uh the the leader of that got sainted. <coughs> wow. Wait, what? They are not I forget really? his name. Oh my God. I forget his name, but yeah, let me go look. Uh, Christian. Why oh, do I have a feeling it's Peter? It's always the fucking it's... Peters. What? It... No, it's not Peter. No. I don't think. Library. I still find. In the vast, oh. in the breadth of fuck up, fucked up. Uh. Uh, let's see. Oh, he came at the hands of Theophilus. He was a patriarch from the Roman temples after the church. The church is like the collection was destroyed by the Christians who moved in. 
Okay, maybe I was a little incorrect. Who, who was I thinking of? Charles. Oh, finally. Oh, fucking finally. Did you find shiny? No. I'm oh. done with the damn tea. Oh? I oh, am. God, yeah. Like I told Hatchet, uh, I was given tea by a doctor. It has a bunch of shit in it, and basically it tastes like old medicine and stale bread. Uh, oh. Yeah, it, 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 do, it does not taste the greatest. That's why I'm drinking a pina colada. And don't worry, why I already I read the description. You, it's a, there's no, nothing saying you can't drink anything like alcohol with it. Why are you drinking it? This, because it it helps with narcoleptic it helps with narcoleptic people stay awake oh. for a short periods of time, which is for the strain because I've been having difficulties the past two days. Mm. Why are you like having problems with like gonna be having problems with like your drugs and everything too? As far as I know, wait. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I was saying, like, didn't, didn't you, weren't you saying you were gonna have to, like, pay a lot more for your drugs? Yeah. Like, the, like, medicine you need? Mm hmm. Ooh. Isn't it fun being an adult, right? Isn't it? Ain't, ain't that fun? It's really fun living in America. So fun. Really chill. You, Why? You... What did you say? No, they just did scare bright. Haha. <laughs> See, the Theophilus. Well, I looked up Theophilus of Adana, and the first thing I see is, uh, Saint the Theophilus, the penitent, or Theophilus of Adana was a cleric in the 6th century church who is said to have made a deal with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I don't think that was a Christian. Okay. No, it was a Christian. They're a saint, dude. Okay, uh, with this Christian talk, it's making me remember about this pope that was dug up from the grave, put on trial, and I think, like, I think they're like dropped into a river i think what no that happened oh yeah what? it happened <laughs> it happened yeah, they, dragon yeah I, I do remember like something about like that yeah because the next pope in line just did not like that pope <laughs> put their dead body on trial oh wait, oh yeah 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 wait, i think i yeah i've heard that one before Cadaver Synod. The Cadaver Synod, also called Cadaver Trial, is the name commonly given to an ecclesiastical trial of Pope Formus, who had been dead for about <laughs> seven months in the Basilica of St. John Laterna in Rome during January 897. The trial was conducted by Pope, pope Stephen VI, <laughs> Stephen. God damn it, Stephen! You're fucking Stephen. one spiteful bastard. Or it's Stefan. It's either Stephen or Stefan, depending I'm on getting, pronunciation. I'm gonna get Stefan probably. Yeah, S T S T E. Oh yeah, there's no V. My brain's dumb. Yeah, Stefan. The sixth, the successor to form us successor, Pope Boniface. Boniface. <laughs> Actually, you oh. want to know a fun fact about the popes? No. Uh. You know the you know Doom Guy, right? Yeah. Did you know Doom Guy can become the pope? You want to know oh, why? No. You want to know why? You want to know why? <laughs> I don't care. Why? Okay. Wait, so... the guy from Doom. Yeah, Doom Guy. You from mean the, Doom the why? The Catholic guy. Oh. Yeah. So he's Catholic. He kills demons, so he's, he's you know, pretty good at what he does. 
He's also, if I remember correctly, canonically asexual. So, and I, if I remember correctly, canonically a virgin. He can become the Pope. In if his he universe. went through a, if he went through a whole shit ton of rigmarole first. Yeah, but I feel like killing a fuck ton of demons. I feel like probably counts enough. Let's see. Uh, Stefan had mm -hmm. Formus's corpse exhumed. With that, I would and... say like. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say with that, I'm, I would say he would probably become a saint first. Yeah. yeah. Stefan. Stefan. Had Formus's corpse. Uh, you got there? I I yawn. Formus's corpse exhumed and brought to the papal court for judgment. He accused Formus of perjury, of having ex ex exceeded to the papacy illegally and illegally presiding over more than one diocese at the same time. At the end of the trial, Formos was pronounced guilty and his papacy retroactively declared null. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure like everything I was saying in that trial was false. I mean, he's dead, so it doesn't really fucking matter now, does it? <laughs> he's fucking dead. <laughs> The Cadaver no. Synod and related events took place during a period of political instability in Italy. You don't yeah. get say. I mean, yeah, anyway, back to Blobby. It's like, okay, yeah, like, I get it. Like, that's kind of a yikesy comic, but they not only apologized and took it down, but it seems like they were genuinely trying to, like, honestly critique anti-semitism if it was even if it was very failed at doing so i don't know i kind of want to talk more about history stuff because i like history yeah. yeah we got really into the history stuff go ahead i want to i could talk about <laughs> history but yeah, speak about dragon. history but Do yeah let me want to know but yeah, like, I guess the other way to put it is, um... What the fuck did that bird do? I would put it is that I, I just don't think that, like, like, such a well-developed career of progressive LGBT supporting work should be thrown at the wayside because of one misstep. Like, they seem to have just genuinely made an honest mistake. Oh, the thing. Kind of like me and Cards Against Humanity. <laughs> hey, even I'm let's making fun of it now. <laughs> well, yeah, but let's also be frank. What Lobby did was way less severe. <laughs> what the oh, God, what the fuck happened in Cards Against Humanity? Uh, you don't, you don't need to know. I play the Don't German pretty it. symbol as a card. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Because she's an idiot. Yes. Because right. she doesn't she's properly think out her decisions. <laughs> I, it's obvious, because she obviously decided, you know what, it would be a great idea to exist. And guess what she's doing right now? We need to sue Bright to get back our existences that she's been slowly siphoning away from us. I think suddenly get silent. Because you are gay. I mean, I ha I am oh, pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, my entire fixation lately has been on uh, on femboys, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's actually, there's actually something I wanted to talk with you about, Hatch, is that, um, because of that teacher, like I told you about, uh, I never actually uh, really learned anything much at all about Vikings and stuff, except that they 
at one point came to America, and that's pretty much all that I know. <laughs> Vikings were I mean, cool, but also remember that, if I remember correctly, I think it was, was it a culture or was it a job? I think it was a yeah. job, right? It was a job. Yeah, Viking basically refers to a job title. It it describes people who would get on these boats and go out and plunder, basically. It, it's similar to the word mercenary, but so like a decent like enough of them came from Nordic or Norse cultures that they just became associated with them. But yeah, no, the Viking is technically an anachronistic term for it. This might make you mad, Hatch, but uh, there was one teacher that called Vikings a race. What? I mean, That's it, just it not seems, right. It just seems based upon like a very flawed understanding of Nordic history. Or Norse history. Thanks mm -hmm. to the fact that I was... Okay, so here, here's a, just a real quick side tangent. The timeline of my engaging with learning about Norse stuff goes like this. Marvel? Playing Elder Scrolls. And then learning about actual history. So, anytime I go to talk about the Norse, my brain wants to mix the Norse and the Nords up. Do it for the Nords. And it's like, no, no, Sovngarde. That's that's no. That's <laughs> not that. Wait, that's not. The, the, not the, you thing. mean Valhall? Val Valhall, not Sovngarde. Wait, where's? Uh, it's it hurts my brain. But anyway, you are um, a dumb blade. And if if they're going off of the logic of like the way that we view race in the modern day surrounding whiteness it also doesn't work well because there are a decent amount of records of there having been black vikings that would have been engaging in that work and there are a decent handful of examples of black folk who existed in Norse society and they were basically mm -hmm. just seen as other people with a different skin tone. Hatchet, no, you're gonna, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get the, you know who you're gonna get upset. No, you're gonna make them upset, Hatchet. Say it more. Say it more. Make Ooh. them more upset. Black people exist in oh, Norse culture. Make them more upset. Make them, make them cringe. Oh, make you mean them the shrivel up in their little, little, little yeah. insecurities and their racism. Make them shrivel up like maggots and yeah. worms when you sprinkle salt on them. So yeah, that's the one thing I was actually going to ask. Well, since we are talking about history stuff, we'll talk more about Norse history, because I know nothing. Well, <laughs> as you I may see... know... I see, that's the thing. Know? I, uh... uh... Go ahead, child. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, Loki has six children, I think. Right? It's six. Because it's the only... horse... I only know of four. I think it's more. Go okay, so he has twins. I think they're two. They're two sons, but they're not really well known, and they're kind of minor, so they don't really matter. Uh, there's Hell, there's the horse, and there's the snake. So that's five, and there's one more I forget about. I'm pretty sure. Actually, let me look it up. Isn't it Fenrir? Fenrir. Fenrir. Yeah. So it's six. I always forget. How do I forget about Fenrir? How do you forget? I don't know. Even as I... someone who engages, cool. as... as someone who engages with Fenrir, I am offended. I'm also... sorry. I I don't. Oh God. I'm <laughs> also, sorry. Also, someone who does nothing about Norse I'm history knows Fenrir. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I oh, know yeah, about Fenrir. Uh, let's see. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, random <laughs> civilian. Let's see, Loki is married to S Sigim, and they have two sons, Narfi and Nari. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Narfi and Nari. See, I know about them. I, they don't, I think I've they heard those much. names, I just... 
They yeah, I've really definitely heard. Th I, I'm guessing. Well, it's less that they don't do a lot, and more that it's likely that whatever their attributions were have largely been lost to time. <laughs> they they were born. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ba like yeah, like that's one of the frustrating things about trying to learn about Norse mythology and Norse culture is the fact that almost all of the sources we have were uh, written by Christians and mm. the only like to my knowledge the only source that we have that was written uh, by a pagan was well into Christianization so there's a decent bit of like cultural diffusion so it's incredibly hard to determine what aspects of the practice existed before uh, Christians came in and started bulldozing shit. Right. And yeah, Bright, you signed up for this, don't... <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Pretty much any time... <laughs> yeah, like... Like, pretty much any time I get talking about Norse mythology, one of the first things that my brain does is remember the fact that we know so fucking little because we're talking about a culture that largely uh, was almost nothing but oral, didn't write a lot of stuff down. A lot of the stuff that they did write down, we have troubles translating, and a shit ton of it was just fucking yeeted by the Christians that supplanted them. You'll never guess why they need to start quickly writing shit down. You'll never fucking guess why. You'll never guess why. Well, that's just the like thing. many cultures. Never. You'll never fucking guess why. Well, that's the thing. The majority of the sources that oh, there goes two. Oh, the majority of the sources that we have, like, wasn't uh, pagans trying to write down their history before it gets all erased. Mm. It's Christians trying to create. Uh, their own interpretations of said history at a different time. So, for instance, the, uh, uh, what's the name of it? Um, like, the two biggest sources for Norse mythology that we tend to use are uh, the Prose Edda and the Poetic Edda. The Poetic I Edda... I not either of those. Well, I haven't either, because they're big, long historical texts, and they're a slog, if you don't if, if you don't have the wherewithal to read them, then it's a pain in the ass. But the Prose Edda was written by, uh, I forget his name, but, but a fucking nobleman in Iceland around, I think, close to 100 years into Christianization. And he was specifically trying to build up the lore around trying to, like, create a political motivation for the Icelandic people. So he was basically combining a lot of these myths and employing a lot of euhemerism, if I remember correctly, or at the very least at the start of it, which euhemerism is the practice of basically taking a mythological figure and saying, this was an actual person. They were definitely not a deity. These weren't worshipped as deities. This was an actual person. Here's where they were. Oh, These asshole. all the faults. So an asshole. Basically. But... I wish I could go back in time and get a shotgun pointed at these motherfuckers that are like, I'm gonna make this, 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 this deity into a real guy. I want... But... Um, uh, within the pros, uh, within the pros that it, it, it's still like a very valuable source because like in trying to create his mythologized version of his Icelandic history, he did actually write down a decent bit of genuinely useful information about Norse mythology, especially where it can be cross-referenced to other myths, mm -hmm. such as... Uh, uh, the first thing I know of is, like, the story of, I think it's Killian Bay, 
which were a couple of definite, which were a couple of very close friends, uh, who who were buried together, and then one of them turned into a Draugr. Oh. Yeah. Two guys. Very, Two guys. Very, they may kiss. Very very close friends that shared a pact that they would be buried together for a time if one of them died before the other one. Very close friends. I need to make that clear. Very close friends. Wait, Hatcher, I still think about a question about North mythology. <laughs> hmm? Are are whites uh, a part of Norse mythology? You know, like the the ice zombies, not the not the race, the ice zombies. I was the, about to say what? what? <laughs> I, I had to say ice zombies after because that's actually how it's pronounced. Whites. Yeah. Uh, whites within Norse mythology would be more associated with spirits. Okay. So, for instance, uh, the land of Etha or the land whites are land spirits that reside over places and uh, do a lot of little things. There's a lot of uh, theological discussion around what the land fights actually are. For instance, I tend to kind of hold to the idea that uh, the land vector are kind of a conglomeration of in, pretty much imperceivable spirits as well as the living animals and plants around us. Right. So, for instance, it, mm -hmm. under this view, my cats are Lenfeather. Um, and to a certain extent, that also implies that we are Lenfeather as well. Right. Hell yeah. Because we are also humans. It's just that we are also the Lenfeather that, uh, uh, got smarter, and then destroyed everything. Yeah. Does that mean we're special little guys? Is that what we are, special little guys? We're special little guys. Special little guys who found oil <laughs> and coal. And are actively destroying everything around us. So, we're special little yeah. guys. The thing little is, goobers! About the, the ice zombies, because I'm not going to keep saying their name because it, 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 it can be taken out of context <laughs> oh you, you want to talk about it, the whites you, you could you could say it more <laughs> along the lines of uh whites that whites. sounds almost the exact same whites. everyone here knows what you mean yeah, yeah. basically yeah are, are the norse ones that take uh, eat human souls or is that uh, not norse I know uh, I'm, like prob a... I'm pretty sure that's probably I, I'm that fairly might be it's... something else. Yeah, because I know there's I'm... like one mythology where they do that. I just don't know which one. Well, you see, that could get into the concept of the multi-part soul, which is a whole other bag of cats. There's cats with bags? No, it's a bag of cats. Oh my god, why would... there's uh, How many are in the bag? Uh, a good handful. Oh, can I have the bag? What, what, what? Okay, I have a d20. What do I need to roll on it to get the bag of cats? Uh, you need to, uh, you need to roll between, uh, let's, let's say between 16 and 20. Okay, I could do that. Do I roll with advantage? I don't actually know mm -hmm. what that means. What does that mean? Uh, it means I, if I fuck up, no. I get another roll. And I choose from one of the higher rolls, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you do not roll from advantage. Okay, yeah. I have to make this count. Will a 17 get me the bag? It is- it's 17 between 16 and 20. Oh, I have to double check. <laughs> Damn asshole! Oh I I directly asshole. told you. Listen, listen, child, child. If you don't want me to be a dick, don't be so easy to poke fun at. Fuck you. But anyway, but... um. <laughs> actually, that reminds me. So that actually reminds me of something that actually happened in my D and D game. No. Eat shit. 
But yeah, speaking to that, Bright, I'm fairly confident that, that would be like a later, like a later fantasy edition. I've never heard anything like mm -hmm. that from, like, Norse mythology. And on top of that, like, mm -hmm. speaking of the concept of eating human souls, the main reason why I think that 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 seems like a more modern thing is it seems to be relying upon the Christian conceptualization of a soul being like this very holistic thing that exists within humans while the Norse would have invariably believed in some form of the multi-part soul which um, there's a shit ton of variance in how it could be uh, understood but a very consistent thing is that the physical body is considered a part of the multi-part soul and there's multiple parts of said soul that might go to different afterlives or interact in different ways one of the interpretations that i particularly like and tend to hold to is that a part of a person's soul is the impact they put on the world around them yeah so like uh were you trying to say something bright i want to let you continue a bit but i want to look this up later see which type of mythology like kind of started off the the whites eating human souls for some reason well Shut i up, mean Daniel. i'd be willing to guess that it's basically a christianizer christianization right. of a drogger but i decided to search it on google the first thing i see is who weighs souls in greek mythology here's the uh, answer wikipedia gives by weighing the, the heart of, of a deceased person against maat or truth who are who was often represented as an ostrich feather, Anubis dictated the fate of souls. Now, wait a minute. That's not Greek. That's... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. a minute. That's not Greek. <laughs> what? That's wait Kemetic. It's, that's Egypt. What? Nah, you don't... You don't know about the, the mythology cinematic universe. You don't know... You don't... You know about the myth... <laughs> you don't know about the myth where Anubis came in and was like, Hey, it's you me. Don't... I'm you gonna, don't know. I'm gonna... <laughs> you don't know about the Mediterranean mythological cinematic universe. Exactly. <laughs> the <you> MMCU. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, Anubis is part of Greek mythology now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously. To, to be clear, like that's not too absurd in the grand scheme of things. Like, uh, uh, oh, I forget the term for it but basically mixing of different practices does happen i'm just very confident that that's not something that happens <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like for instance uh one of the mm -hmm. um uh, during later stages in the roman empire one of the most interesting deities that received a lot of worship was a romanized version of the egyptian isis oh the uh the the rainbow the goddess, goddess right? the goddess yeah yeah, yeah. Goddess, not the not the fascistic the... muslim group <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i know what you're talking about i know about that the rainbow yeah. goddess um there was a lot of practice surrounding isis in uh late roman empire especially up towards what's modern day uk wait wasn't isis also the goddess of messages or something like that I mean, I don't remember. I, I think so. You gotta keep in mind, this is, like, me remembering bits and pieces of stuff that I learned about that doesn't directly pertain to my practice. Yeah, so I'm less fair. likely to remember it. But, um... Fuck, is this Corviknight on? Christ! Oh I unlocked six-star raids and I'm getting my ass beat by a giant bird. I still... Right, right, right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I still find it funny how they changed the Greek god, uh, Than is it Thanatos or Thantos? Like, the Greek god of death. That'd be Thanatos. Thanatos, yeah. I like how in Roman they changed his name to, from Thanatos to Lettuce. What? Well, Wait, not, really? It's not spelled Lettuce, it's L-E-T-U-S, but it, it's pretty much pronounced that. <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's the thing. It's less that they were changed and more that, like, 
the practice evolved. Yeah. <laughs> and different people with a different language would have adopted it, but... But every time I hear that, I just imagine just, like, there's just a... <laughs> just a... a, a, a a lettuce just sitting there with a scythe and a hood, <laughs> ready to take your soul. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, um, sorry. Regarding the concept of the multi-part soul, yeah, um, an aspect of it that I tend to like incorporating into my spirituality and just my general uh, perceptions around. Uh, interacting with people is um, an element. I can't remember the actual names of the several parts of the multi-part soul, but um, one of the aspects is the impact you have upon the world around you. So within this perception, let's say you're walking down the beach and you look back and you see your footprints in the sand. Those footprints are also a part of your soul. What if I eat the sand that my footprints are on? Does that mean I get more soul? No, I think that would just mean you got sick. <laughs> God damn it. And you left behind the, 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 the imprint of your soul on the surrounding area that you were a dumbass <laughs> and ate sand. Hey, fuck you. But anyway, the, the thing that I like to think about in this respect is to me bringing this to its logical conclusion we all have a sort of collective soul of impacts upon each other and upon the world around us and i think a large like understanding this as a like a metaphysical view of it for me I basically take it as this is even more of a reason to leave a good impact on our collective soul. Because, for instance, this this does come with the good and the bad. Like, within our collective soul, there is both Martin Luther King Jr. and the crimes of the German party. Yeah. Because the collective soul is just an interweaving mesh of impacts that humans have had on each other and the world around us. So one of the most important things to me is uh, seeking out leaving a positive impact on that collective soul. And this very much this very much feeds into my view of the ancestors as well. Like, if y'all didn't know, um, Ancestor Veneration was a massive part of, uh, Norse culture. It was heavily associated with, uh, um, the fostering of luck in your life, which was a whole other bag of worms to unpack because it's very different from the modern conceptualization. And to me, because of this perception, uh, I think it allows me to have a bit of a more holistic view of ancestor veneration than a lot of other places. Because when, uh, when looking back at like the things that I've learned about, there comes a certain point where I came to realize that in terms of people who positively affected my life like yeah my direct genetic ancestors definitely were kind of important to that but do you know who was also really fucking important in my general well-being in the modern day goose a singular goose <sighs> now can yeah. we can we silence the child <laughs> You, you were influenced theory. by a singular goose. And that's the first thing Jerry hears. A, a goose! Anyway. Anyway, the point being, uh, of, like, when comparing, like, say, the impacts on my life of 
my direct genetic ancestors to say uh the folks who were kidnapped and brought over here as slaves i think it it, it feels a bit off to not give some level of consideration to people who are not a direct genetic ancestor when they had arguably a more a, a larger effect on my general well-being now and jiri for cons uh, for for context i am roughly rambling about my personal conceptualization of ancestor veneration oh Bright, I you shiny. Were talking about how your ancestors had been slaves, brought over by as slaves. Oh no 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 no! I I it's quite literally the opposite. My my genetic ancestors were not that. Oh. And I'm I'm noting that with the fact that my genetic my genetic ancestors obviously did have a notable part in my general well-being now i think that trying to understand uh the people throughout history that have positively affected my life and not actually addressing the fact that a lot of those people were basically were were chained up and brought here as slaves and their labor ended up leading to a lot of modern prosperity for my family oh I, I feel like it's a incomplete view of ancestor veneration to not acknowledge also the suffering of people that led to our well-being, even that if they're not a direct and genetic ancestor. If any of my family had been slave owners or benefited from it, then I would have I would also feel the same way when addressing my family. Yeah, and like to be clear, I I'm I don't know if any of my family were slave owners. There's definitely a notable chance. Well but, yeah, I know what you're saying. But yeah, besides that, it's just the fact that I am a white person existing in America, which means that I have largely benefited off of privileges that were created on the backs of slave labor. Well, as you know, my family is mixed. Yeah. But my mom's white side didn't even benefit either. Uh, her dad's side were literal hillbillies. The people, other white people, mocked. So. <laughs> oh no. And, although he is super intelligent, and my mom's super pissed that her mom kidnapped her from her dad because apparently one of his adoptive kids has severe had severe dyslexia like her and he was able to teach her he was able to teach her brother to read her stepbrother that's and she gets so super pissed about that sometimes and anyway i and... think i think that just made my brain bleed also oh uh... um should we get that checked out so here's the thing. Uh, well, uh, sure I'm it's fine. sorry, uh, Hatchet, but uh, people kind of assume that all all uh, hillbillies, just because I mean, that they assume that they are all poor and stupid. Mm -hmm. Although he definitely came from a family where there were I forgot there was one pair of shoes that went through the family, or no shoes at all, but. He grew up and he took care of the entire family. He built his own company. He made a lot of money. He was robbed of that money and both of his children. He made the money back and he tried to hunt her and hit the kids down through the entire United States with private detectives he hired. He was good at avoiding. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. I think your family's a bit fucked up, Jerry. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Also, just, uh, just a tiny bit. There's actually one thing oh, I wanted. Oh, you want to know about uh about why my mom's mom was so fucked up? Well, for start, what I sure. you should tell us that, but uh, let's hear what Bright's been trying to say. Sorry, also, sorry. uh, there's one thing I want to say. Uh, 
I do have like a bunch of historical records on my family in the past. It's just legally I can't show them but at all. Which That's sucks. fair, considering we know at least one person from that family. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, uh, also, um, it, they, their historical records go all the way back to, the earliest I saw was like 1701. I'm oh, guessing yeah. Mafia. Okay, yeah, that means Mafia. The, I'm talking about my Irish side at the moment, Dragon. <laughs> the okay. Italian. Wait, wait. Wait, Bright, that doesn't help your case. Al Capone yeah, that was doesn't Irish. help at all. That Al does Capone not help was Italian. Was he? Yes, he was Italian. I could have sworn he was Irish. <laughs> He's Italian. Am I, He's Italian. Am I He's that Italian. stupid? Italian. I think, no, because we, we both got this wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, then. Italian. Wow, how bad did our education fail us? Oh, cause that does no, that does sound Italian though. That makes sense. Anyway, yeah, Al Alphonse Capone. Oh, his name was Alphonse. Yeah. God, that's such a cool name. I love that name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, very Italian. Yeah. yeah, Alphonse Capone was born in Brooklyn, New York, the son of recent Italian immigrants. Yeah. Uh, my my the, the education system has failed me. I couldn't anyway. tell the difference between an, 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 an Italian Mafia member and an Irish Mafia member. I don't think there's been an Irish Mafia. No, there has. If I remember oh, correctly. Well, I, I said it made sense with Bright because mm -hmm. there's lots of questionable history bits about Irish people as a whole. Alright, Yeah, so... like, that's... that's. Oh, sorry, get just real quick, Bright, because talking about this. Um... Uh, put put it this way, like, mafias, for the most part, exist as a result of socioeconomic climate in the same way that, in the modern day, gangs exist within largely black communities. So, if you're oh. looking at a group of people that, uh, that are marginalized, nine times out of ten, you're going to find some kind of structure like a mafia or a gang that is built up to try to deal with that persecution. A mafia is different than a gang. That's how a gang is started. Well, yeah, Mafia's but mafia is more organized. Well, yeah, but they still basically serve the same function and exist in the same niche. And even then, like, a lot of gangs are very well organized. But anyway, anyway. Yeah, on with the papers. Like, one of the things that is actually labeled that I didn't think would actually get put labeled on is occupations each ancestor had. And during, like, the 1700s, 95% of my Irish ancestors were uh, indentured servants, if you know what they were. Yeah, I feel like, like everyone knows. Fancy it. way of saying slaves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, they, those are different because they did have contracts and their work was actually, only for a living. they weren't uh, different if it was in the United States because in the United States back then, typically they said they would give it and then they didn't give the land that they promised. They wouldn't give the money they promised. In fact, a, a riot started because they were basically using indentured servants as literal slaves that they would never release and never give a reward to. And after that rebellion, that is when America went, you know what, you don't want to attack us rich people, it's, it's the black people fucking you over. Attack the black people. Yeah, let's, let's make them the slaves. Yeah, they're the, they're the bad people. Not us rich people. Wow. Yeah, that, that, well, that I mean, things breaking well, I mean, the races black apart. Uh, also started. Well, I mean, the the black Not people would have been killed by all the slaves time. that want to kill you. Oh yeah, like the the black like black slaves would have existed at the time. It's just there's a cultural shift toward demonizing there were black, black people. Black slaves and Irish slaves at the same time. Yeah, that's that what point. I mean. Yeah. The way well, you said it made it sound as were 
still used after that, and they were still sold like slaves, but now they were being released more after, and given what they... more likely to get the things they were promised. Yeah, like, the way you put it made it sound as if you were saying that it was all of the indentured servants that were Irish, and then after that came the slave. <laughs> No, no, just, no, I'm just saying Just the unfortunate that... way you worded it. I wasn't trying to say it like that, sorry, but... Yeah, I know, I know. ...servitude was used as a cheap way to get in the United States. Yeah. And you were supposed to get a little land and a little money once it was over. But they weren't doing that. The rich, the rich people who paid for the poor people to get over weren't doing that. And they soon became yeah. very scared of the poor people over time. They're like, no, 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 it was the black people, it was the black people. Yeah, yeah anyway. The... Eh, go ahead. And as for the other 5%, uh, it was either disease or famine that got to them. What a pleasant family history, Bright. What a... how quaint. Well, Dragon, during that time, there was a lot of famine in I'm, I'm big, I'm, 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 I'm joking. I know. Can't you tell my joking voice? Yeah. Penguin, if it makes you feel any better, back then an Irish indentured servant was considered to be worth less money than a black slave, so they were worth more hard and more likely to die. Pretend I never said that! Mm. Um, Pretend that we still don't uh, accidentally run into a few corpses when we turn up old roads and things. Yeah, um... What unmarked graves? Uh, and it didn't get easier for my Irish ancestors at all. Um, uh, further on when I was looking through him. Uh, because I also saw that they worked for, uh, Vanderbilt and Rockefeller. Oh! Um, I- I know only slight about what those fuck- those fuckers did. But I know it wasn't good. Oh, yeah. They're- they're early capitalists, you- or they're turn-of-the-century capitalists, that's all you really need to know. Let's Plus, just say yeah, they're... they would've probably- they would have been lucky if their bodies were not entombed under roads. Let's just say that. Yeah, and <sighs> specifically with the uh, Rockefellers, um, mm -hmm. uh, like one of the things that I know about is uh, the fact that uh, there's this wacky little there's this wacky little historical event in which uh, a whole bunch of uh, Colorado uh, workers for a Rockefeller company uh, decided to go on strike because they wanted to be given enough to live and they didn't want their kids to be working in the coal mines. Uh, the they, kids they went on strike. Pray for the vi the for the mine. <laughs> they 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 this wacky no, this wacky group of folks. Them death it's it's, it's death. a meme. It's a meme. Yeah, it's a meme. Um, it's a meme referencing Minecraft. Yeah, they crave um, for the mines, Jerry, don't you know? Please do not make I that. crave for the mines! I'm gonna tell you something that'll make you feel like an asshole. One of the things coal mining does is it gives you... Uh, that was that called, but literally your lungs get caked in coal powder. You suffocate from the inside. There's I know. nothing that can save you. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but anyway, um, so I crave for yeah. the mines. Anyway, regarding the Rockefeller thing, there's this wacky, this wacky time. You know, all these people they stop working and are like, "Hey, give us more money and stop making our children go coal or whatever the fuck you're doing." Okay. Go coal. And then, and then, and then Rockefeller, you know, contacted the local quote unquote law enforcement. And basically said, "Ah, oh, oh, yes, they're uh, they're they're being they're being a pain in the ass. Just fucking shoot them. Just fucking oh. shoot them." 
I think around a hundred people ended up dead. Uh, oh. ten of them were my ancestors. Yeah. Uh, well, that would be an oh. awkward family reunion. Uh. They couldn't even attend, Dragon. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. That's the joke. Bring... That's the joke, Bright. <laughs> bring the oh, bring that's the. Not a funny joke. This is something you joke about. I'm sorry. I mean, that's the thing, Jerry. I think everyone here, for the most part, has, like, a pretty fucked sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> like, sometimes you need to tell dark jokes to deal with the darkness inside. Which is why <laughs> we are- This just makes me sound really emo. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the point. Which is why, during Bright's next family reunion, there may or may not be a handful of, uh, uh, coal dust-covered skulls. What the fuck? How, why, actually, why would you be at Bright's family reunion, huh? You planning on getting married? I didn't say I would be there. Also, friends can go to other friends' family reunions if they're invited. Point. Yeah. But it's funnier, if, you know? It's funny. It's for the funny factor. I know you ship us dragon, but it's not I'm, I, I don't actually, but it is kind of funny to tease. It's weird, it's cringe to ship real people. Wise words of the day. Don't be cringe. There's actually uh, one thing uh, about my Irish uh, family history as well. As fucked as it is to say this, because medical, it's, medical stuff is also written down, heavy amounts of alcoholism runs in the family. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I feel like we could tell. Oh my god. It, That's actually a common issue for the Irish people, yeah. as it was caused by probably countless generations of being treated like less than slaves, less than people. Which, I shouldn't say yeah. less than slaves, but when people go look at you and go, you're worth less than a slave, and basically toss you to jobs that will likely murder you, I'm not sure what else to say. Even England, they're like, you know what, let's replace the Irish with cattle. And when they start having this big famine, instead of, like, reaching out to help, they stall as much to help, even though the people in charge of the Irish are like, hey, we need food. They're like, ah. Kill these fucking people. That's pretty much how they go. And mind you, the, pot the potato famine happened Twice, not once. They like to act like it happened once, but it happened twice. And each time, it killed so many people. But the English really wanted to replace those Irish people with cows. Um, cows meant more to them. Yeah, um, Why do I have a feeling that's where the joke of your mom's a cow comes from? No. That's highly unlikely. What? No. Probably, but... Some relation, maybe. That, why is there a goat in the cave? But anyway, uh, as far back as I looked to see where al alcoholism like started in my ancestors, like I'm pretty sure it could have started further, but I only had as far back as 1701, because that's how much it was been written down, and passed down. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was it it started showing up in 1765. That must have been one year, wasn't it? So, so the U.S. rebelled against England, and then Bright's family became alcoholics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, which is why I'm, I, I do believe I'm, why I have such a high alcohol tolerance, is because like, my literal DNA test showed me that majority of my DNA, like, over 75% is Irish. <laughs> yeah, that would explain it now, wouldn't it? Could like, you mother... Could this goddamn of... egg kill these dinosaurs through a cave wall? But yeah, but so basically I contain a lot of the genes my Irish ancestors had with alcoholism. So... Yeah. That's... Also, speaking about, about the alcoholism... That's actually one thing I do get asked, because I'm Irish, do I drink a lot? And the answer is no. I usually only drink on special occasions, or if I'm at a restaurant if I feel like it. 
or for I, streams. Almost yeah, or every stream. I don't constantly. drink. Constantly. I don't. <laughs> right, you are currently <laughs> drinking an alcoholic drink. Yeah, the <laughs> last time I had an alcoholic drink was in August. Wait, what? Oof. I know for a fact you've oh, talked about grabbing like vodka be since then. Oh, that's right. I had it in October in the subathon. I forgot about that. But still, it's like. Oh, you are a liar. Ago. Motherfucker! So Fucking I, I racist bird the, attack. I forgot about the subathon dragon you shot. Either, if you eat alcohol, I mean, not eat alcohol. If you drink it, <laughs> you probably won't remember <laughs> every time you drink it. You eat alcohol? If you freeze it, technically you could, but. And like you could have beer battered stuff. Sure, yeah. I actually really. I really can't. I even uh, under the age of twenty one eat things that are beer battered. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure because alcohol has been cooked out. Yeah, yeah. alcohol's been cooked out by them. But uh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't drink that often. <laughs> As many people um... think I do. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mom grew. My mom like told me and my brother every time we got near alcohol that your part Blackfoot and other people used alcohol to fuck over your ancestors. Don't drink. You're not <laughs> you're not gonna be good with alcohol. Yeah. Jesus. She could have put it more subtly, but you know I really want to take a DNA test. Yeah. There's actually one part of my uh, family history I I don't think I should talk about in stream again. Oh? Because I had to censor it uh -oh. when I last speak, spoke of it. Uh, let's just say my Polish family in World War II yeah. times. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just remember, I remember that. Because saying the N-word, say the, uh... The angry, uh, the angry bad cross. The, uh, the bad cross. The, the, uh, oh my. we all know what you mean, Jerry, but the way you said that, it's like, okay, you can tell us the story, just don't say the N-word. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, I feel like, uh, Jerry, 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 Jerry. It starts with an N and it ends with an I. You could say the German party. Yeah, the he's... bad guys. Ooh. Don't but, say. Yeah. Not so nice German folk. <laughs> the, the evil bakers. Oh god. That's oh, actually god, that's that awful. so much worse. That, that yeah, that's like so worse. much worse. I should not have said that. I apologize. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh god. So fun. I forgot. I forgot. I still remember one thing. My, my family. Um. The a dog that I had growing up, that basically was like a second mother. Like they, th uh, that dog actually treated me like I was their own puppy, basically. Oh, that's Aww. cute. That's both Kinda really sad, sweet, but... and yeah, I was about to say that's both really sweet and really sad that that's yeah. the level of motherhood you've got. And the thing is, we actually grew up with at the same age, too. <laughs> Yeah, and, um, however, there was one issue with her. What? Uh -oh. Um, I'm just gonna say this, please do not cancel me. She didn't like Mexicans. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what is that? You had a racist dog? Why was your dog racist? How the fuck does that happen? I don't know, but every time that, like, a Mexican would go by the house, she would go ballistic and try and break out and growling and what? biting what? shit. And it was, like, and it was specifically... You're laughing, but that's actually a sign of something, uh, would you like me to say? Sure. I'm I laughing out of shock. Exactly. I'm not even. That's not even funny. I'm laughing okay. out of shock. I assume she was adopted as a puppy, right? Yeah. That means the people who uh, handed her over 
What color were they? Oh, we 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 don't know. We found her on the road. Yeah, I think oh, we know okay. the color now. Why is that the dino so large? <laughs> oh, that the dino's about to commit autocide. Well, when they're... animals are abused severely at a young age, they will often fear and get upset over traits that remind them of the abusers. Mm. They're Mexicans. <laughs> Oops. Congratulations! <laughs> Your dog was abused by Mexicans as a puppy. <laughs> and now she's racist. Well, yeah. She's dead. <laughs> well then. <laughs> well, what? Now she's a racist core. Yeah, if, if, if she was a live dragon, she would be 22 years old in human years. Hey. Hey, I've seen weirder, okay, Bright? I've seen I've seen weirder. She she's what? not a I your was not lucky. Uh sh fuck. What are they called? German Wait, Shepherd. Is... Oh, so okay, yeah, because yeah, usually small been, breeds. She would have never lived to twenty penguin. The yeah. larger a dog is, the less likely they are to live longer. And I if I remember correctly, I think it's a Yorkshire Terrier that lives the longest, like I think it can live up to like 24 years. Those bastards never die. It's like having a tortoise. Hey, don't insult them. All doggos are good doggos. Yeah, but they got the name Yorkshire, and that's kind of boring. Yorkshire is probably the place they originated from. Not to mention the fact that that's like actually a cool sounding name. What the fuck's your problem? <laughs> They're it's, penguin. What do you it's, think? It's just in. Small child has bad taste in place name. Honestly, a dog called Antarctica, it would be cooler. So, you know. Well, that liter would be literally cooler. That, that would be significantly <laughs> cooler, but that doesn't change the fact that Yorkshire is a cool name. Oh. You know, speaking of how... You know how some animals get treated like bad, uh, badly for bad reputation like dobermans or something like that for example mm -hmm. yeah. uh dobermans uh what are they called uh, uh bulldogs uh, pit bulls yeah i fucking pit love pitties yeah. pitties are amazing you know, uh, did, did you know pit bulls and bulldogs used to be used to nanny children mm -hmm. they're, they're really good at it they're adorable Meanwhile, if, if if you train your dog through abuse, then surprise, surprise, they your become dog's aggressive. An asshole. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're they're not as good nannies if you abuse them. And um, actually, just like children. Uh, there's this one thing I, because everyone knows that eventually I want a, a tango lizard as a pet, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I constantly do research on them. Apparently, they also have a, a sort of bad reputation, which is a really stupid one. What? Um, since they're related to uh, Komodo dragons in a way. But they are Komodo dragons! Please they they think me. that they actually contain the same bacteria Komodo dragons do, which they don't. Why do they think that? I don't they're know. stupid. Because uh, I think yeah, they're like just... they're really close, but not. No. It's... Is that lizard racism? Yes. <laughs> but um. Humans can be racist against lizards. They can be ra uh, They can be racist against other humans. They can be racist against lizards. Well, I mean, you would know thing. because you're a snake. <laughs> I'll bite you. <laughs> yeah, also... You're not. You're not helping your case. Also, you with the. Uh, Tengu lizards? They're not uh, lizards. Snakes aren't lizards. So I'm talking about Tengu liz lizards. Oh no, snakes. Snakes are lizards, taxonomically. Snakes are lizards, taxonomically. Yeah, let's go back to the Tengus. What were you trying to say, Bright? Uh, though, with Tengu lizards, because I do research on them, their actual diet does not match with Komodo dragons. They, it's true that they're omnivores, but their main food source is actually fruit. They're all 
also from different regions. They're from different countries. Also, their bite force isn't strong enough to take down a deer. <laughs> oh, poor dumb babies. The... What does it make them dumb? Like, you it does. Thinking they would have that force. Also, they're actually more intelligent than a Komodo dragon. I'm still going to call them so... dumb. You're still going to be wrong, so... I am wrong a lot of the yeah. time, so I, I, this would not be new for Everyone, me. I have a scientific uh, study that we should do. Uh, it's called uh, tie, tie the Child Up and See How Long It Takes Them in a Vat of Tiger Sharks to Get Bitten. <laughs> hey. Actually, no, did you know when I was little... More aggressive shark. Did I'm you like, know I mean, when I... I'm pretty sure that the tiger shark's the most aggressive breed of shark in existence. Yeah, that's 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 my reasoning. Basically, like, with most sharks, like, bites on human are purely out of confusion or anxiety. With tiger sharks, they just fucking try out everything. They want to try eating everything. They, and they, they took that one song from Zootopia 100% seriously. Yeah, like, they, they okay. just, like... Like, they have been autopsied, and they have found fucking car tires, metal dust bins, just almost anything you can imagine inside the, the, the guts of tiger sharks. They will try to eat anything. Oh, 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 try everything. Oh, this oh, this oh, is oh. why, like, granted still, like, there's, like, still not that much of a threat. It's just, like, uh, in terms oh, no. of sharks, they are more dangerous. Did they you used know to be more of a, a threat, though, because every now and then, they would, like, one would get a freshwater river and, like, take down a kid or two. Are you sure oh. you're not thinking about bull sharks? Yeah, I think Jerry's thinking of bull sharks. Did you know uh, that in terms of Pokemon... I'm thinking of tiger sharks. Yeah, the, the thing that makes tiger bull sharks... Tiger sharks are saltwater, but they can go through freshwater... Well, I mean, most most fish can go through water that's not good for them, but it's going to heavily start affecting their health quickly. I'm yeah, fairly. That's, that's why I said like they occasionally would get stuck up rivers. Yeah. They, they they wouldn't mean to go there, but tiger sharks aren't really known for being smart. But yeah, and in that case, like they'd probably be even more dangerous because they're their bodies would be shutting down, so they're probably even more likely to attack things that bother them. But to be fair, what I'm thinking about is literally, like, a black and white case where, like, two kids were taken down by, like, a bull shark. That's it. It was, like, one, one year and, like, another, like, Way many years after that. Yeah. Bull Do sharks wanna... and like the the two sharks that are generally speaking considered the most dangerous despite having lower attack rates than white sharks are, are tiger sharks and bull sharks. Tiger sharks because of the aforementioned fact that they just try to eat literally everything. And uh bulls because they are a, they have an adaption that allows them to consistently go into fresh water which means that you are more likely to encounter a bull shark in places where you normally wouldn't expect to see sharks then i'm probably thinking of bull shark attack yeah yeah anyway um back to the tengus uh how they're like smarter than komodo dragons is that like Scientifically, it actually looked the skull of one. Their skull actually opens more space that they have the same intelligence as a dog. Not as much as a pig, but as enough as a dog. Like, you can give them commands and stuff and teach them to go outside to go to the bathroom. Like, you can yeah. teach Aww. them that. So they're actually more intelligent than the Komodo dragons. Well, you know why, right? Yeah, they're school. Yeah. 
their skulls no, bigger. No, no. The oh. reason they're more intelligent is because they don't try to eat each other like kimono dragons do. And also their skull is larger. Oh, well, that's... That's not really a good measure of how intelligent an animal is. Hatchet is right, like... Did you know Neanderthals had bigger brains than our ancestors and bigger brains than we currently do? Yeah. Bigger yeah. doesn't mean better. Our yeah. ancestors were smarter. There's more than just size. Size doesn't matter. Also, uh, with the Tengu lizards, often their reputation is uh, some people think that they're as aggressive as other lizards. When in all actuality, even if they're abused, Tengu lizards have a 1% chance of turning to aggressive. Majority of the time, if they get abused, they'll starve themselves to death. Because they're not getting oh. Oh. They They'll actually rather die than get aggressive. Oh, they're so dumb. Oh. It's really sad, like... They're getting a bad reputation for no reason. Like, they're just lo uh, loving lizards. They just want love. Yeah. I can relate. Which is why I love them so much. And why I nicknamed them Chungus Dog. Because they're literally a Chungus Dog. With those big cheeks and they act like freaking dogs. So real quick, Bright, when were you playing to end stream? Uh, 2 a.m. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we oh, get... okay, so... Oops, oh, sorry. You continue on first, right? Oh, well, um, for that. Uh, in that case, I am going to go get coffee and see if my mom wants a back rub. Right. I will be back uh, maybe in 30 minutes or so. I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, You'll I'll be return. back when you're back. I'll be but... back when I'm front. What? I will not elaborate. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to know. Wait. Yo, shiny bitch! Hell yeah. Quick ball it. It's not Those the, bitches are It's hard. not the baby, which is the one Quick I'm ball. looking for. Quick ball. So should I save? Or you can... You should have saved. Yeah, save. Okay, okay if you don't get it... Okay, uh, run from it and save real quick. Or I can just use my timer balls and great ball, uh, ultra balls I have. Oh, you have plenty of ultra balls. Okay, just use ultra balls. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm unsure if it knows any moves that could get itself killed. So, because you might be, it might be a good bet to run real quick, save, fall swipe it, and then try. Okay, save real quick. Which will mean it'll break my shiny charm. A uh, uh, shiny thing. So, 1,106. Okay, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Quick. Where'd it go? There it is. You know what? I don't care if we get the baby. Ah, I just cute. wanted to... It's adorable. I... Adorable big boy. I can just breed for a shiny baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, that's that that's uh, that does something with uh, what I wanted to say. Can so, I finish what I was trying to say about the intelligence? Yeah. Sorry. Continue. Intelligence of the Tengu pet is... You see, their bodies develop with how they interact with their world, their bodies. And it, it doesn't just like... The, the brain size is relative to their actions, their diet, their... And... The reason they're more intelligent than kimono dragons is because kimonos, well, they're less isolated, they're less isolationists than Tegu are, are also aggressive, aggressive as fuck. They eat each other. They eat their prey. They are angry. It's such a cute you shiny. Know? And so, obviously, they're not going to be as smart. Tegu don't try to kill each other. They don't exactly interact with each other much either, but, you know, they don't try to kill each other. 
Well, they have to interact with each other to make babies, and they make babies. Well, yes, but then they ignore each other. They're like, mm, yes, I wish for baby. I also want to give you baby. Baby, goodbye. I will never talk to you again. That is fine. That is that is what how they speak. Alright, so that's uh, that 1,106 encounters. I also do not know if Peggy has spent any time with their babies. I do not think so. Most reptiles do not. They do. Oh! They're like mother hens. Oh, that's what? sweet. There's actually a case where it's like super friend friendly with their owner, but when their owner tried to put them in like an incubation thing, they got uh, slightly aggressive, <laughs> like nipped at their hands. They're like, oh. don't touch baby. Yeah. <laughs> My baby don't touch. <laughs> yeah. And what also, shiny did I get? And also, here's the I'm thing. Not... California is actually holds the the per especially where I would go in California holds the perfect climate to have a tango as a pet because it's usually what where they live it's the same temperature and air air kind of I know air is kind of fucky around California isn't it? Where are tangos from? Uh, there's one that's from Argentina. I don't know where the others are from. Lizard Land. No. Yes, Lizard Land. I, all I do know is that they love the sunbathe. They are from Lizard Land. Penguin, I'm not yes. happy for your bullshit. Are you from Lizard Land? Anyway. I'm from I'll Bite Your Butt Land. That's mean. I'm a snake! <laughs> You're a mean snake. You Do you know what they do to mean snakes? They bite mean snakes. Penguin? Yes. That is who I am, yes. You don't know anything about snakes. And that's fine. I, I know. I can name you a fact about snakes. Oh, here's an actually interesting fact. Um, Tengus will actually get along with most pet and with most pets. Oh. Yeah, there have been cases where they actually quickly befriend dogs and cat uh, dogs and cats. Why are they so good at being social when they don't like each other? No, Tengus. Yeah, in the wild they don't uh, hang out with each other. Yeah. Um, the ones it's that get bred in captivity, like. There was one person who has a black and white tengu and Argentine tengu, and they tend to cuddle with each other. Oh, that's adorable. Why are they so different when they're bred in captivity than they are in the wild? Because I think they're bred to be kind and whatnot. But I think still in the uh, wild, they're not at all dangerous towards us. They just tend to leave us alone. <laughs> Babies are not scared of getting uh, where they get their food, so they're so they're fine with killing with others. Yeah. Okay, I, I need your opinion on something. After you've been making smart-ass comments all the time? Yes. <sighs> Which one of us do you need help from? I Anyone will work. So... So, there's this one person who has a large following of people like my age and younger. Uh, and they keep that's reposting. Kind of creepy, but okay. Huh? I said that's kind of creepy, but okay. But, okay, so, right? But they keep reposting stuff that is uh, incredibly, you know, stuff that people my age. Oh. Yeah. What? 
they keep they keep reposting like NSFW like heavy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, to their to their following that they know is largely minors. The fuck out of them. Um. Yeah. So. So, uh, and they, and then someone called them out on it, like, hey, you have a large following of minors, like, you should probably, like, make an alt where only adults can follow you. And they're like, it's not my problem. So my friend, like, messaged me about it, and I was like, hey, what, 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 like, what the fuck is going, like, right? Just, like, inform me on drama, because we, we, we inform each other on drama. It's very fun. Um, and my response is just, Kill. I need to know if that is a valid response. Yes. No. No one can report them. Screenshots, evidence, report. Sadly, especially how with Twitter is, uh, you know they're not gonna do oh, anything. Oh, Twitter. Oh, fuck. Yeah. But I feel like my response of just kill is very. I feel like that's appropriate. You just know, the word kill. Twitter is just a shithole right now, so sure. Yeah, but okay, bright. When you when you're gonna breed for the little baby, when you go for the little baby, make sure you uh, save before you start getting the eggs. And when you hatch all the eggs and you don't have a shiny, uh, just unload. Just like uh, off select from the game, close the game, re go back in the game, start over again. Don't Are do what I do, where you keep the boxes. Babies until one's a shiny? They're not. It's not killing the baby. Per se. It's making sure the babies never existed. There is a difference. Okay. <laughs> so. So aborting them. Well, they never the existed. Technically not killing them. Well, they never existed, so... I'll be back. Okay. Alright. Just looking for a sandwich has encountered power for fire. I know Numo is also a ground type, but there's a bunch of ground types here, so I, I want to try and get a counter for fire. But now I gotta check all these sandwiches that I don't have ing some ingredients for. Let's see if they have an encounter for fire. Encounter fire level one, or like something higher in level one. Psychic, psychic, fighting, normal. 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 So many normal ones. Counter power. There are no such thing as normal Pokemon, right? Right, you've been gaslit by the R R G B L B L T B B seven 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 into believing that there are normal Pokemon. There are only shiny Pokemon. They only shiny Pokemon exist. I can shut the fuck up. <laughs> A lot of lizards. Lizards are adorable. No, I don't have the boy. I don't think there's only one sandwich that has encounter a fire. Another one is counter fire, but it's level one. Here's level two. Thank you. It looks like in the. Uh, I'm assuming that's pepper or cinnamon. I don't know. Oh, it's curry powder. Curry powder. Powder. Okay. Yeah. You buy it. Uh, you can look it up. How to where to buy curry powder? I for gore. I'm dumb. I think I know where it may be. The fuck did my Pokemon go? 
Don't oh, worry about he's it. just... No, he's in the distance! What the fuck is he doing? Get the fuck over here, Godzilla. Motherfucker. I'm trying to make you have children. I'm trying to make you a mother. <laughs> don't, you, don't you love the Godzilla movie where Godzilla shows up on screen, has a small baby, and, be, and, and goes, ar -ar 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 -ar, which translates to, I am a mother. And then the movie ends, and you pay $30 for the ticket for that movie. Don't you love that? Maybe. <laughs> what the f Wait, what do you mean, maybe? Ah, here we go. Set its destination. Go over here. I do believe it's this store. Because this store sends, sells stuff that's not sold in the other bakery stores. Alright. Oh wait, Dragon, there's also one thing I noticed, Map. You know how this up here is, could be Kalos, right? Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, people are speculating that it's yeah. another part of Palvia, like which, cities. Which, yeah, could mean, like, this is a DLC over here. But I started noticing when I was looking at the map, there's also... Wait, where did where was it? Wasn't there, like, another part that I saw? That was... Oh wait, name might have got... I mean, that might have been a glitch. I, Probably a glitch. Because I saw there was like another... Can I go back down? Thank you. Not that... Or not, I thought I was... I thought there was another area where it was like connected. Or maybe... Yeah, it was right around here that there was a stuff. Source of self penalty and C. Never mind. That was a glitch. <laughs> Looks like there was going to be two DLCs for a moment. <laughs> Which would have been kind of cool. Like, like two different countries. But oh well. It ain't the end of the world. Wait, so you know where Tulip's gym is, right? I, maybe, I really don't care. Uh, the sidekick gym, you know her? It has like all the pixel art and it's all like made out of tile and clay mm -hmm. well apparently that's a lot of why oh yeah because it's almost Christmas right it's almost Christmas yeah I, I know I gotta do the at thing and and uh, fam general family to see who would like to spend uh, fun times on Christmas Get it, dragon. Yay. Don't you love Krimis? Maybe. Oh? No? What the fuck did you just do? What? This goddamn red dragon bitch just fucking jumped up in the sky. I don't think she's okay. She's fine. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely passed it. 
I don't know, do you think Maridon understands what the uh, what gender is? Because not only are they, you know, a cave dinosaur, but they're also a dinosaur lizard. I honestly don't care. <laughs> oh, that is fun. I think one of my, one of my dinosaurs is like contemplating existing as a mother because they're just in the corner away from everyone and away from the ditto which somehow they're still making eggs i don't know how that's happening i don't want to know actually all right finally i found it here we go and i forgot that it's number right what what it's burger what what oh what the fuck is that god damn I'm gonna try and copy from the picture. Ugly sandwich. I wanna eat it. supposed to be on last. If that is a hamburger patty, I don't know. Oh, everything's staying on. Somehow. This is somehow a sandwich. Sandwich. My cooking expertise once more. Unrealistic, your character would fucking explode. Wait, that's catching power fire. God damn it. You're a dumbass. Then again, you never did claim to be intelligent. Why is Godzilla boogieing? Why are you grooving? Why are you grooving? Damn. Oh. Yeah, get into it. I fucking love... I love the, the dragon type pseudo-legendary for this year. This, this game. Oh, there's my timer. Let's see how many... Godzilla offspring were produced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. I'm starting to think that there is no encounter of power for two. Level 2 for fire. Probably not. This is kinda stupid. God damn, this bitch got moves. Yeah, I give- I give Groovy Bitch bath because she- she does the skanky leg so much she's very smelly. I still will never get over the fact that dragon types are weak to ice. God I damn, give she them a it. weakness. Yeah, but okay. I think they're weak to fairy, ice. When they were. And something else. Weren't they when they were first introduced to dragon types? They didn't really have a weakness. So they oh, in dragon type. They're, they're weak to dragon types, other dragon types. But I think they wanted to give like a, a different type of weakness and then they introduced the ice types for weakness. I think that was the whole reason that ice is a weakness. Barry didn't exist when they did that. It's still kind of a goofy weakness. Like imagine- No, because the thing is ice types are like really fucking weak. They are not good. <laughs> like Ice Cube is my little baby. I love Ice Cube. 
very weak. Depends very slippery. On, it depends on ice type. Like, I think poison is actually a pretty good type, though. Because it's only weak to... It's only weak to fucking... Ground. Yeah, I went through all my sandwiches. There's no encounter rate, but a level two for fire. That Splatoon 2 is so fucking ugly. Sixty-five, got it. Which means this is gonna be the best thing which I can do for it because Okay. Put you here. Put you here. Put you here. Is leaning off. Hopefully, it doesn't fall off completely. Put you there. Put you there. There. And bow. Sandwich. Perfect. It looks delicious. Don't you want to eat that dragon? No. I just realized that meat looks really raw. Yeah. Like I want to get some salmonella from that. <laughs> Counter power, fire. Right, pack up and go. So now, there should be a heightened chance for Numal's to appear. Numa, I fucking love Numal. Numal is baby. All I'm seeing is Larvesta. Larvesta's a pretty good shiny. It's yellow though, so. I'm not looking for yellow shinies at the moment. Yellow. Yellow! Oh, there's my timer. I still can't believe what you named your ditto. You weren't supposed to look. Hmm, yeah. Oh. It's better Hello, than I'm Incubator. Hitting X. Thank you, game. I should name my Larvesta Incubator, because she is the one that hatches the eggs. He is the one that cooks. Do you cook? Right, do you know how to cook? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. 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 Oh, fuck. Yeah, right in here it says... No. It dislike rain. It might be, it might be no like rain. It, it may be, it may be in rain. It may be, it, I think it's like farther near, uh, like the, the yeah. Yeah, here, yeah. Maybe no like rain. Like, like most babies, I don't think, I don't think Numa likes rain. Are you most babies, Bright? Shut <laughs> up, dragon. Are you? Not answering that question. Mm. I like how one of the items I picked up is soft sand. 
Mm-hmm. What did I just hit? So, oh, it's one Shit. of the new Pokemon. Actually, that new Pokemon shiny is like really fucking good. It has a golden ball, and when you evolve it, its body becomes gold. Which insinuates some really gross shit, but like like actual shit, but you know. It's a cool shiny. I recommend. I just don't see nothing but Larvesta. Is Numo a normal type? It is Numo a normal type? I, I don't think it's normal. It should be a fire. Is it? Is, I don't. I don't know what it is. They might have changed it. I don't know if they would change it though. Numa, Numa, I love Numa, Numa, Numa. They might have changed it. I hope they didn't, cause then I just wasted two sandwiches. Numa. It, no fire yeah. ground. Well, sandwich. Eat sandwich. I already had a fire sandwich. Okay. Weird. Maybe that's why all the Larvesta are showing up. Yeah, but not the Pokemon I need. And I'm down right where it's... Set no up, up. Unless... No it means up here. I know it's on, like, the tops of those, like, high mountain things. Numel's baby. Numel's Damn it, love. Skiddo. Numel is life. Oh yeah, now I see the Numels. They're up here. Did you know did you know that Skiddo has a black shiny? It's actually really cool. I don't care at the moment. Alright, so they're up here. Some reason. Why is that Skiddo following me? Fuck off. You are its mother. And Lemon killed it. Oh my god. Someone canceled Bright. She just killed her child. I didn't Shame kill on you. my child. Shame Lemon on you. did. Uh huh, sure. Uh huh. That'll totally go in Pokey Court. I can't- every- every time I speak, I look down at my little icon of the little fucked up cat. And I can't take myself seriously. Because that thing is the thing speaking, and the thing representing me. And it's just a really fucked up cat with the tech- Ugh. Also, normal shiny is gonna be really hard to tell. A bitch to notice? Yeah, cause it's just the top of their- our hump just gets slightly lighter. Ooh. Well, at least we got a shiny this stream. Yeah. will be back. Actually, so you know, you know those little red guys, those little, little red babies, right? Mm -hmm. You want to know what its shiny is? What? Uh, its eyes are the only thing that change. It's a really annoying shiny to hunt for in the wild. What's going on? Okay, so you know the little little red fire baby Pokemon. Red fire baby. Yeah, red fire baby. Wh well, which it's Pokemon shiny. is that? I know that's not its name. It's a little, little, little. It's a little guy. Okay, bright. Show the little guy. Show the little. I'm guy. going to comment that all babies are little. Yeah. Show Why the little don't you guy, just bright. look up the name? I'm busy right now, Drap. I don't know the name. You can look it up. Ah, uh, but. Uh... <laughs> Don't be tell lazy. To do something you're not willing to do yourself, Penguin. Eh. Chardet. So Chardet, this little guy, this little goober, this little goober, 
This little, little guy, I'm putting in stream planning. This little goober, absolute little guy, little, little goober. Guess what it's shiny is. Guess. You already said it was an eye change. Yep. It's the eyes. That's all. That's all Let that changed. Let me look that up. It's a real goober, but it's shiny as absolute horseshit, and it stays in its uh, its evolutions too. Too, and both of its evolutions, the only thing that changes is the eyes, and it's really, really lame and really oh, boring. Oh, I see the blue. The eyes become blue. Yep. Okay. Why and does it become blue like blue fire? Because I don't know. Do you know that a black flame can exist? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it like one of the hottest flames though? Yep. I thought the white, the paler the flame, the hotter. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna look... say yeah. I'll look it up for it real quick. How hot is a black flame? But you want to see, you want to see an amazing black shiny in in. Oh, in Pokemon, right? I'm putting okay. in stream planning. Okay, I'm looking it up. It's an amazing black shiny. <laughs> oh, a black flame has barely any heat at all. So, it's you... the coldest fire. Apparently, you can even touch it and not get hurt. Yummy. Can Why you... did you say yummy? Uh, I am mentally fucked up, and I should uh, not be allowed cars. Yeah, because uh, this is from according to the University of Illinois Department of Physics, the term fire is used to describe something that's burning and giving off light. Therefore, there can't be black black fire, since black means there's no visible light. It is coming from it, and thus no heat. Oh, gray would be like okay so basically the only way you can get like a black flame is you if you mix sodium into it and it's only short-lived because black fire can't produce heat oh. eerie what are your opinions on godzilla Okay, here, here, you want to hear a plot of a Godzilla movie? Did you just ask my opinion and then brush that away immediately to say something? Yes. Do you want to hear your... Do no. uh, you want an opinion on... No. Uh, okay, I'm going to read the script. I'm going to read Can the summary. Read? You know what I'm interested in right now? No. Pokemon. Oh. Uh. Yes. It, uh, I guess you're kind of surprised. Why would someone... Watching a Pokemon stream, be interested in Pokemon. Why would they? I think that's enough sarcasm for me for the night. <laughs> uh... My Magic the Gathering cards. Oh no. Hold on. It's mm -hmm. talking vaguely about white flames. So hold on. What's talking about white flames? Okay, so. Here we go. Now I can actually. See see it uh all right uh it goes from red orange yellow yellow white white blue white to blue blue being the hottest flame yep it's kind of weird how white is not as hot as blue not really well to me it is i kind of thought white would be hotter 
Why? I don't know, because it's like a lot brighter than blue. Because it's literally. Well, remember, the brightness is how our eyes perceive it. I believe you cannot look uh, blue fire directly with your eyes without destroying your sight. I know what I want to do. No, Dragon. No! <laughs> I know I what I want to do. Wait, is that no, bad? It, it, the answer is no. <laughs> but I want to. But no. I wish to. I wish to do. I wish to Too do. Too bad. I wish to eat the fire. That's not I death. must. I must, Jerry. I must. That's called death. I crave death. Then, I want to eat the fire. The fire, yummy. You're an idiot. Well, I am related to you, so that makes sense. Well, I've never heard Bride go, I want to kill myself by trying to eat fire. <laughs> so, she has one up on you. <laughs> well, I would hope so, since she is the, the adult. How did that- how did Lemon kill a Mankey at the same time of killing a Numo? What the hell? Don't worry about it. I am quite worried, actually, Bright. I think you just bred- born and bred a, a murdering machine. That's what they're supposed to be! I can still shame Bright on doing it. You're shaming Bright on doing a good job? <laughs> yeah. How dare you do a good job at being a good <laughs> Pokemon owner? For shame! <laughs> God damn it, Swablu. Swablu baby. Swablu baby. Swablu fluffy baby. At least it's not a shiny Swablu. I feel like Bright would lose her mind if it was. <laughs> We'd have Jerry... to lock. I don't think Jerry was here for that. Yeah, Bright got two shiny Swablu like back to black, uh, back to back. When I was trying to hunt for a shiny Axew. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was annoying. Did you catch the Swablus or? Yeah. There are baby, but they are yellow. They are piss flavored. Don't call babies piss flavored. <laughs> Why would you mean... try to eat children anyway? You are a children. <laughs> it's just we cannibalism. Don't eat you, do we? I'm. I mean. No. The answer is no. <laughs> I mean. I mean. I mean... No eating children. No eating children. Yeah, it's... Mmm, that's kind of difficult though, Jiri. It's a, it's a bit difficult, innit? Why are you saying that? Innit? It's a bit difficult, innit? Never <laughs> do a British voice at me. You're not British. <laughs> Hello, funny. governor. Tiny? No. I'll leave if you keep doing that voice. Okay. What, me? <laughs> no, me being British. Oh, I thought- I don't I think thought... Jerry likes the British. I thought my impression was bad. Wait, what's your impression? You have a good impression, I just- Okay. I don't think Jerry likes the British. What okay, you I- like to know about my Irish ancestry from my mother's <laughs> side? No, I've already <laughs> know- I already know Jerry. Okay. I feel like most people in this call have Irish ancestry. Well, we can't ask Aderna, and we can't ask Hatchet. My grandma's maiden name is Irish. Okay. <laughs> Six, five. Fuck you, Mankey. My grand my grandmother's maiden name and my middle name were uh Goddish. So you were also I fucked also over by the English. Mm -hmm. So you well, were also I'm fucked over. Both Irish and Scottish, so 
Um, of course I was fucked over. I have native ancestry thing one. Yeah, yeah. Is there anyone here who doesn't have fucked up ancestry? No. I know this is a bad question, <laughs> but... I don't think so. Bad question with a bad answer. I have, I have, so the funny thing is, I have native ancestry. I also have German ancestry, some that were in Germany during uh, oh. World War II, but like some that were also like in the U.S. during World War II. That's... So I might have had family the members that were fighting on both sides. As if of the war. Oh, well, that's God. awkward. Because I I know exact I know I had a family member who was uh I uh, so he was seventeen and he um <clears throat> so he joined the. Um, military as a actually no was he 16 so yeah he joined the military as a paratrooper and fought in world war ii drafted by germany or if he went there willingly oh no no not germany uh in the u.s oh that makes more sense <clears throat> i don't know about German, my German ancestry. Um, but like, yeah, that uh, that one that I was talking about, who Did you pause? Oh yeah, I was <clears throat> gonna say that like the person who I uh what who like who I was talking about like did join the US military like uh he he chose to do it but but he also did it like uh before the age range where uh, he should have been able to like uh oh yeah you sign up for the trap and everything uh, lie about your age to join the military mm -hmm. <clears throat> And if anyone wants to complain about that, all I have to say is, who are you complaining to? Most of the people who are participated are already dead. Yeah. Be right back. We're gonna take a piss. Right. Okay. Uh, Dragon, you okay. have control of the stream for a short period of time. Yeah. Oh, wait, that gives me plenty of time while I'm hatching eggs to read a poet from Sappho. Immortal Aphrodite, on your enterity uh, brocaded throne. Child of Zeus, waver of wiles, this I pray, dear lady, don't crush my heart with pl uh, plans and sorrows. I'm also keeping track of math things because I'm shiny hunting. But come here, e if ever before, when you heard my far off cry, you listened and you came, leaving your father's house. 
yoking your chariot of gold. Then beautiful swift uh, sparrows led you over the black earth, from the sky through the middle air, whirling their wings into a blur. Rapidly they came, and you, O oh blessed goddess, a smile on your immortal face, asked what had happened this time. Why did I call again? For myself, in frenzied heart, who this time am I pursued, or persuaded to your love, Sappho? Who is doing you wrong? For if she flees, soon she shall pursue. And if she re refuses gifts, soon she shall give them. If she doesn't love you, soon she shall love. Even if she's unwilling. Come to me again. Uh, come to me now once again. Release me from grueling anxiety. All that my heart uh, longs for. Fill. And be yours, my ally in love. Love's battle. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, that is five. And that means I have to go get more babies. Okay, wait. Some say an army of horsemen. Some say of foot soldiers, some of ships, is the fairest thing on black earth, but I say it is what one loves. It is very easy to make this clear to everyone for Helen, by far suppressing mortals and beauty, left the best of all husbands, and sailed to Troy, mindful of neither her child nor her dear parents, but one glimpse she was seduced by, Aphrodite. For easily bent and nimbly missing text has resemble uh, has reminded me now of Anna Cortia, who is not here. I would much prefer to see the lovely way she walks and the radiant glance of her face than the war chariots of the Lind Landians or their foot soldiers in arms. That man to me seems equal to the gods, the man who sits oppose you, and close by listens to your sweet voice and your enticing laughter, and indeed has stirred up the heart in my in my breast. For whenever I look at your you even briefly, I can no longer say a single thing, but my tongue is frozen in silence. Instantly, a delicate flame runs beneath my skin. With my eyes, I see nothing. My ears make a whirling sound. A cold sweat covers me. Trembling seizes my body. And I am greener than grass. Lacking but little of death do I seem. That is six babies. Hatch so far and not a shiny tail. Very gay. I returned to hear gay. <laughs> Wait, did you actually hear the poem, or did you just... I heard a decent handful of the poem. Yay. I'm guessing Bright is away. Yep. Yeah. I am entertaining stream by reading The Longing of Very Gay Lady in Greece, or you know on the I island of Lesbos. For some reason. Hmm? That full of Lesbos. I'm also hatching very, babies. Very, very well known uh, Sappho and her very close roommates. Uh, yeah, her, her friends. Yeah, her very good friend of uh, who is, who was it in this specific poem? God, this is, oh, I love this one. This for a friend that said, if they do not love you, you will make them. As if to say, you're so charming, 
you'll win them over. No, the thing is, saying that. no, it wasn't even her friend. I don't think. I think it was Aphrodite herself. Yeah, Are you what... saying it was a poem about about uh, it was a poem? Ab- Please tell me who wrote the poem. Sappho. Wait, let me oh. reread that. Wait. Yeah, because I think she's talking to, or the, the poem she's supposed to be talking to yeah. Aphrodite. Actually, it might. Let me reread this. Because it might, maybe she, it, she was quoting her friend or her quote unquote friend. When her, I her her her, oh. her bestie for the resty, you know. <laughs> she was sitting five feet apart. Because she is very gay. <laughs> Sitting five millimeters apart because she's very gay. Mm. Talking to her uh, roommate. Her roomie. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. why her husband was called... Uh... Dick Alcox from Man Island. (laughs) Dick Alcox from Man Island. It's like, I think I heard someone reiterate that as like, yes, hello, I am Sappho. I am married to Dick Alcox from Man Island. I am Mega Hat. You're you're thinking of one one topic. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It would have been somewhere in one topic's videos. Probably, yeah. He's he's made a bunch of Sappho jokes before since it's that is pretty hilarious. I mean anyone who thinks he was straight is is hilarious. I mean in that case in this case I don't think it was him uh it was his joke, it was him reading I, a tweet. Oh, he was joking because uh he heard of uh the name her supposed husband had. He was making fun of people who tried to argue that Sappho was straight. Well, yeah, but he was reading off something that was like, yeah. that said that. That yeah, said that's that why I, am... I said that. But my, I still think my, one of my new favorite things to say is, I am Mega Het. Hello, yes, I am Mega Het. You're a kid, now you're a squid, now you're a kid. Yeah, I can't believe I'm only just now uh, getting into one topics and clicks videos. Oh, just now? I'm sorry. <laughs> Very lightly. Well, that's the thing. I say just now, but like the past like three or four days has been me doing almost nothing but binging their stuff. Oh. I have very little life. I'm sure you have life. My life is watching YouTube and playing games. It's a hobby. Is it really a hobby when it's like 90% of my time spent awake? Yeah. I really want to get into poetry. Poetry's fun. Yeah. Especially when it comes to, like, trying to match up syllables on rhyming lines as well. I can't remember the exact term for it. But, like, I remember my English teacher taught me that one of the best ways to keep flow in a poem is to try to, like, if you've got two lines that rhyme... Try to make it so that they have close to or the same number of syllables. I think the one issue with me trying to make poetry is I I over explain things. Yeah. And I can't help it. Although, as a side note, one of the things that I've learned about from Clicks video, not Clicks, fucking OT's videos, that I am now like, obsessed with integrating into other pieces of literature I try to write in the future is the whole heat from fire, fire from heat. Because that's just such a cool-sounding phrase. 
15. We hear you, Bright. We, we know, know you're your, there. We know your sins. Alright, I'm back. What the fuck are, you, are you guys talking about? We know your sins. I read some of Sappho's poetry and you missed it. I really don't care. Fuck you. Burn in hell, <laughs> bitch. Jesus! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. I I guess I guess now we know now we've learned not to step on the on the penguins lesbian toes. <laughs> well I uh, penguins don't really have large toes, so you'd have to kind of be doing that purposely. A lot of the time when penguins Or be bright. True. Or, yeah, because the thing with penguins is, so, a lot of the time, well, it depends on the breed, or the species, technically, or whatever. Whatever they are called, I forgot. But. I forgot. I forgot! Hello, yes, I forgot. I forgot! Anyway. Pretty much got an hour left. But, you can't really see their little feetsies. Did you, you want to know where a penguin is? Are. Do you want to know where a penguin's knees are? Do you yes, Do you want we, to know? We all know that they're deep within the crevice of their body. <laughs> We've all known you long enough to have heard this factoid like five times. Nah. You must hear it some more. I'm gonna look at no. right. It's, it's their, little, their little, their knees. They have knees. And it's so goofy because they're just tucked away. Right, do you tuck away your knees? Next you're gonna ask ne next you're gonna ask, hey, have you seen a penguin's mouth before? Cause I'm sure I haven't sent that like dozens of times. Do you know what their in their insides look like? I don't. Anyone, I don't wanna know. Is interested in that besides you. I don't actually wanna know what the insides of a penguin look like, because that would mean that something bad happened to them and I don't wanna know. Whoops, go talk. To, go talk to the leopard seals. Oh, there we go. The yeah, perfect they sandwich know. hatchet. Just look at it in all of its glory. The fuck is that on the far right? I don't know. <laughs> Someone's liver. You insensitive fuck. Actually, like, come to think. Of it. Made a mistake. Oh. I, actually, come to think of it, it is about the right color. For uh, for like a shark liver. Uh, yeah, you insensitive fuck. And what's also funny is literally right next to the green plate, it looks like there's a little bowl of blood. Uh. How could you be so insensitive? I'm shaming you. Penguin, you have no right. I have every right. I have no, more right. No, no, not after the shit you've said before in this stream. What? What? Why does it look like he like took a bite and there was fire in the background and It was spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. It doesn't look spicy. Fuck you. I must I must kill this man. What? He keeps using ice attacks and hurting my delicate skin. Oh. Therefore, I'm going to punch him in the face until he doesn't get up and get back up anymore. What? Well, also, there's actually one thing I find funny. You know how you collect items from Pokemon when they die? Uh huh. I'm collecting lava from killing Numels. Oh. So it says Numel Lava. Poor baby. So that means I have the capability to pick up lava. I mean, have you seen yourself? Yeah, probably. You are literally a Terminator body. I think what's happening is likely you're not picking it up. 
Barraza your Pokemon, putting in a container for <laughs> Lemon, the Pokemon that doesn't even have hands, is picking up the lava. Yeah, she's Not doing a very good job. The black one. Wait, Dragon, the did you say? Pokemon. Lemon misgendered le uh, Dragon misgendered <laughs> lemon. Lemon misgendered lemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what's happening to me? I'm becoming is, a lemon. Is that like... It, lemon misgendered lemon. Is that like what it would feel like for a trans person? that like looks back on videos from before they realized they were trans and listening to their old self refer to themselves as their dead name Maybe. wait no because i've actually well not the dead name thing but i've actually i actually do follow a youtuber and they came out as trans like a year or two ago uh and the thing is she she was a pop pretty popular minecraft uh, not minecraft mario uh content creator so she has a lot of content before she came out, and now a lot of content after she came out. And she- I- I've seen multiple tweets of hers where she just regrets shit and like, uh, like, pr some of her past content before she came out. Okay. That's with anyone. If you told me to go look at my first videos, I would never do it. Yeah. Because we can already we already know that my editing skills have gotten way better <laughs> since when I first started. Oh yeah, yeah. debatable. Dragon. Did you get I'm table? sorry. I'm sorry. Your editing skill on uh, on your your editing skill on a hundred point system has increased from a one to a three. <laughs> Congratulations, you have tripled your editing skill. Good job. That is... Oh yeah, that is AAA. Also bright. Also bright. Mm -hmm. Everything has changed because you don't have to deal with those motherfuckers anymore. Are you sure you know who I'm talking about? Yeah. I think it was just that motherfucker. Right? It was one mother. No, there were two. No, there, there, was two. there was two. Oh, God. Mac McDonald and Vanya. Oh. Was... Yeah. Old McDonald, E I E I. Was that she even? Old McDonald that? eating shit. Yummy, yummy, yummy. No, Sorry, no, go... no, 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 no. <laughs> go ahead, Bright. I said, were you even here for that? Me? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't actually here for the majority of it, but I heard about it after, and I was in the voice call at one point with McDonald. You was an asshole. Uh, first came in, and was like, being a regressive trolling piece of shit, and then he got fucking outsed by dicks. Oh yeah. So... Which means I don't think Hatcher was there when I got full on mad. No, I don't believe I was. Yeah, the first time I've ever been ma full on mad with at all in front of you guys was at that moment. <laughs> and then it was a, and then it was what that SCP clicker thing. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> then I I had to leave my computer because I got so mad. <laughs> No, it's because if you make one mistake, you have to start all over again. And it yeah. takes so long to get back up. And I was like, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm out. No. Fuck this. <laughs> As we all know, modern games should definitely be trying to do what the NES did. Because there's no such thing as progress. We do not live in a progressive society. Actually, I think that game did that on purpose to piss people off. Not after NES game. Well, yeah, but I'm just making a joke that, like they're doing something similar to have that shit happen. Everyone knows the games got worse from the NES. The graphics got worse. The the models got worse. The voice acting got worse. The amount of I'm pixels got worse. That as a pixel artist, I think the art getting worse or better is. Subjective. Subjective. Yep. Very much subjective.
Oh yeah. Hatchet. The moment you left, I got a shiny fracture. The fuck's a shiny fracture? The evolution of Axew. Mm. Yeah. It was pretty cool. You missed it. The, the literal second you were gone, it they appeared. Huh. You should name it Hatchet after that unfortunate event that Hatchet was gone. When no, you should name no, you should name it not Hatchet. Well, I should at least show it to you, Hatchet, what it looks like. Unhatchet. Anti Hatchet. Name it Anti Hatchet, please. Anti Gun. It's an Anti Gun. What the fuck? Anti Shark. No. Anti Anti Axe. Can Axe. we just all agree that Penguin isn't the best with names? Yes. Penguin. We should name jump. it Lord Farquaad. Penguin, go jump go 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 jump in the Alaskan River. I am in the Alaskan River. No, you are not. Yes I am. You are in Florida. I know I'm I'm in the Alaskan River. Okay, then name a single sp fish species that you should be able to see right now. It's I have to swim closer because they are kind of foggy right now. One moment. Is that you checking Google Penguin? Yeah, this is this is Penguin looking up Google. Ah, here you are. No, I'm, I'm getting closer. Hatchet. Uh. Oh my God, he's got trans blades. Okay. <laughs> it's it's just blue. Okay. Uh, I see I see a rainbow trout. Those are out. Those would not. <laughs> Where Funny. am I? Funny. Why do I see a rainbow trout? Funny thing that, or actually, let me ask. What color is the rainbow trout? Uh, it's a bit. It's a bit yellow, a bit green, has a pink stripe. Ah, so a breeding season rainbow trout, which it's not breeding season. You're lying to me. I think something's wrong with it. It's not responding, Agit. <laughs> it's not it's not responding. Patch it. I think it's, it's dead. You just, shit, it's dead. It's a salmon it's out of Oh my god, shut up. Stop <laughs> your lying. Cease your it's... lying and accept your L. Wait, no, I see another one. This one's this one I think this one's alive. Um it's a bit grey. I think oh I think it's a steelhead. It's it's a bit gray and it's a bit gray of top, like darker gray on top. Fins have a bit of tint to red. Hey, hey, hey. Uh huh, uh huh. One, if I remember correctly, Steelhead is literally just another name for Rainbow Trout. No, it, it looks very much different. Oh, okay. Fish tend to look different. You mean in shape or shape and color? Uh, shape and color. I'm Actually, done. I'm done entertaining the child's stupid bullshit. But I will say, I, I'm i not sure it would be an Alaskan fish then, because I remember in Petaluma hearing about steelhead. And Petaluma is not in Alaska. Well, I just talked to it, uh, and apparently it gets around. I mean, that is true. The, the steelhead's uh, kind of just go all over the place along the eastern coast or western yeah, coast. So, so now you're a thornberry. So penguin, now you're a thornberry. Huh? Interesting. Am I? Can you play a game where you can talk to fish? No, no. How fish are made? Uh, no. baby. They go ah wah ah wah ah wah ah next to each other. It's very <laughs> awkward. I've seen name, it, the it's... name the species that that depicts. What species was that? <laughs> I forget which one it is. Uh, Go ahead. I'll give you a type... hint. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's a salmonid. It is a salmon. I think it's... Rainbow. No. Rainbow Fuck trout it. are significantly what? larger. 
rainbow trout are significantly larger and during their breeding season you described what a rainbow trout looks like during their breeding season well, they I'm... don't look like that well i'm not very intelligent i am a penguin you are you're going insane you're talking to a penguin i hope you know that but um oh i already knew i was insane i'm on the point. great dr bright's <laughs> discord server that is a good point what should I draw my D and D character doing? Are you and I even gonna try for another guess? <laughs> no, fuck you. Steelhead. Uh, no, no because they've because they've accepted that they have lost. Uh, the Arctic Grayling. Oh, oh, I knew that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Okay, what should I what should I draw my D and D character doing? Eating fish. Uh, an Arctic gray. <laughs> actually, my 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 D and D character actually is a pescatarian, like for religious reasons. All right, just have them chewing on a raw Arctic grayling. I have to look what uh, what that looks like. They're actually really pretty, especially in breeding season. Really cute. Well, they're all, their brains are also melting in breeding season, and they're turning into a type of zombie, so... That what? Too, how do you spell it? But, uh, Arctic... Grayling. Grayling? Yeah, G... Yeah, Grayling as in... Y. Oh, Ling. it's adorable! Yeah. Oh. If you were a fish, would you want to be that type of fish? This is actually... Um... Not really. I would prefer oh. to have... I would prefer to be able to breed more than once. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, hey, Hatchet. Uh, mm -hmm. this... Alright, remember the person who told you about the uh, alcohol Irish thing? Very later to be in the stream. Yeah, I said, I said yeah. Oh, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, um, I remember something else that they said. They said that um, whenever we drop a bomb or a nuclear reactor like has a meltdown, that there's no possibility that uh, it, it it could create a virus, bacteria, or fungal infection. Oh yeah. Wait, back uh, up. What did you say? It's, uh, like when we drop bombs or a nuclear meltdown, like a nuclear from a nuclear reactor it goes off like Chernobyl. They say there's there's no possible way for. Uh, a virus, bacterial, or a fungal infection can be created, or, or something like cancer comes around because of it, or radiation. Uh, cancer, cancer. Okay, one. Cancer are not those things. Yeah. And two, that does seem kind of dubious, but if we're talking, like, if this is from an accredited source, then I, okay. It's not. A win is a win. Oh. Oh, when is it it's just him, yes. them spouting off nonsense. Because uh, I literally disproven that with the zombie deer disease from Chernobyl. Yeah, the, like all of the photos from that, I'm pretty sure were taken in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, gotta love how much fear mongering there is around nuclear power. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. There's actually- they're still studying that zombie deer disease thing. And they say that it can possibly infect a human. Will it ever happen? Not for many, many years. <laughs> like, it, it'd be unbelievably unlikely. Yeah. Yeah, and I also learned that it was like a fungal infection, not like a virus or a bacterial thing. You might be getting it mixed up with oh. the cordyceps. Oh, is it the cordyceps I'm thinking mixed up with? Cordyceps is a oh. fungus that's also called the zombie ant fungus. Okay. Zombie ants? Well, I remember my little... Yeah, uh, that's not my little, thinking my older... Of. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, the... Zombie oh, disease is a virus. Sorry, sorry, guys. But I remember my older Stop brother. It's, this was like in 2012, no, 2014. Uh, so 
I, th I think you could probably tell the year because his alarm clock t uh, song was Gangnam Style. Oh don't my tell, god. Don't tell <laughs> me factoids like that when I have coffee in my mouth. Gangnam Style's <laughs> oldest balls. But uh, but my older brother, he was, play he was playing a video or listening to a video of... Um, Talking about the zombie ant virus, and me being like a nine or ten year old, I didn't understand what the fuck I was. I genuinely believed that zombies were real, and I were, was still partially believing the fact that I was probably adopted and stolen from a, a hospital bathroom. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> you don't know about the fact for eight years of my life, I was genuinely raised and genuinely believed. That I was found in a hospital bathroom. Well, technically, Dragon, the zombies kind of exist with this, the zombie ant fungus thing and the zombie deer disease. In a way, it makes them zombie like. It's, it's like, yeah, that's the biggest thing. It's like trying to define how a zombie works. Yeah. It's so. Like, there's a lot of variants throughout different cultures, and it's... Mm -hmm. Like, if we're talking... Human if we're, like, if we're talking literally living dead, then no. They're, they're, oh, yeah, their no. bodies are still living. Yeah, they're, they're still living. How are they suffering? Very much so. <laughs> right, yeah, I would imagine. <laughs> they're, either, they're either severely suffering, or all of the parts of the brain that would... Uh have pain have been dead and actually that's an aspect of the cordyceps the cordyceps will literally deaden the part of the ant's brain that perceives pain it it basically puts them on a fucking massive high while it yeah. controls them i've seen what the zombie oh, oh, yeah. deer disease does to deer and it is terrifying oh no it's absolutely awful. i think the worst part about that disease specifically is the fact that uh, like, it, it so easily spreads to other deer, and the thing is, you can't pick up on it until, like, much later. I think that's the most horrifying fact. Yeah. Because yeah. the thing is, the thing is, they've actually tested this. You can't get infected by eating infected deer meat with the, the disease, but it, it, it's not, it, you shouldn't eat from the wasting deer. It's bad for, like, Whoa. it's not, like, you won't get sick, but it's still, like, you, you know, not recommended, because... It's it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, eating the salmon that uh, were pre lump suckers. So there's a whole bunch of uh, fish louse or fish lice on them. Yeah. It's like yeah, like the fish lice aren't going to make you sick. They're just a tiny bit of extra protein. But the fish isn't gonna be as as good as you would expect from fish of that age because mm -hmm. they're riddled with parasites. I, I, okay, I don't know if you made this into a card, but you need to make that into a card, and it's like arrows pointing to a fish, and it's like riddled with parasites. Not yummy. Oh my god, yes, I have, okay, what I need How to do How have you is... not done that? I need to, like, find a picture of, like, a commonly, uh, farmed salmon that has fish louse, or fish lice on it. It's like riddled with, <laughs> riddled with parasites. Lol. Riddled with plague. Not yummy. Not based. Has parasites. <laughs> oh god. Has viruses. That's not the same thing. I know, but it. I, I, yeah. Eat, eat shit, die. Fuck you, bitch. Hold up oh. to the same. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I would gladly I tell a salmon like, to go die. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like by the time like the zombie deer disease can infect humans, we have known a lot more about it that it could be like we would have like probably antibiotics by then for it. I think. We would probably have antibiotics by then. Are you saying that we don't have antibiotics right now? Do we actually? No, have four it is the specific virus. <sighs> well, yeah, for, for uh, if for... it's a viral infection, antibiotics aren't going to do jack shit. Uh, what, what I meant. Yeah, they're not going to do shit. 
meant. Antibiotics. Oh, uh, you mean like uh, vaccines? You mean? Yeah, vaccines. That's what I meant. I don't know Green why I thought for a vaccine. Yeah, vaccine. We'll probably have something like that by then. Cause we, cause we're currently studying it right now. Well, we've been studying it for a long time. Yeah. Antibiotics are wonderful pills, but they won't cure of your ills. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know the rest of the song. I'm drawing a little tiefling. Uh, I'm drawing a little tiefling paladin who. Actually, can I talk about my D and D character? No. Real quick, I am. I am sorry to say this, but I have split best girl in half. Oh. What? What? I. I, I I cut Melina in half. I'm sorry. Who? Melina. Lady with lady with like piranha teeth in Mortal Kombat. Oh. Her. I cut her in half. Why would you do that? That's kinda sexist, not gonna lie. What? <laughs> it's called you have to kill her. It's called Mortal Kombat. Kinda sex is not gonna lie. I might go on Twitter and cancel you. Penguin! <laughs> oh everyone in the world come back. It would be sexist not to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she's my wife. Too bad! My wife! Well, Had that needs to be- that needs to therefore be- Therefore, he killed her. I'm sorry. That- that would be- that needs to be quoted. I'm sorry, Jerry. It would be sexist not to kill her. <laughs> Quote. <laughs> oh my god. So, I'm an all opportunity uh, enemy destroyer. You're, you're Vosh, you're opportunistic. I have drawn a very tiny pine tree. But. <laughs> so. But How do you else should know... we keep the child from talking about their D and D character? <laughs> no, please! I want to talk about that. I'm actually probably gonna end if stream. I put oh. the pine tree in a finger painting. Will you tell me if I should or should not put try to put tiny ornaments on it? Real quick, what were you trying to say, Bright? Once my timer runs out, I think I'll just end stream. Right. Oh, okay, I'm tired. Uh, sorry, kind of, yeah. Oh. Sorry, Bright. It's alright. I mean, I've killed yeah, a lot what of did you say? camel babies, so it's fine. What? Hush, what did you say? I am an equal opportunity... Uh, I was gonna say, I am an equal opportunity murderer. Something along those lines. I didn't even actually finish my statement because I was interrupted. Said you're an e you said you were an equal opportunist. No, well, no, you uh, interrupted me before I completed my statement. Oh. I was like, I'm an equal opportunity, and then I was interrupted with, Oh no, you're Vosh! <laughs> I mean... Well, I thought you said, like, uh, destroyer. Or something like that. Yeah, I'm an equal that opportunity. Cool. I'm an equal opportunity uh, opponent destroyer or something. No, equal opportunity people destroyer. Let's go with that. You destroy lady. The lady was my wife. Fuck off, Rock Rock. Oh, rock Rock baby. Don't care. I'm trying rock to kill. Rock needs to die. Rude. Maybe. Ah! This Pokemon can't attack me up here. Fuck you, Rock Ruff. Why is Rock Ruff trying to stop you? The Rock Ruff was introduced to unhealthy anime tropes far too young and does not understand that they are works of fiction and should not be replicated in real life. Oh no. What? The Rock Ruff oh. is chronically online. Oh no. What? Oh no, the poor Rock Ruff. <laughs> Let's 
fuck am I? Oh yes, can someone tell me if I should or should not put ornaments on the tree? Put ornaments on the tree. Yeah, put ornaments on the tree. I'm not sure if any of you really mm -hmm. look at it. Well, it's a good rule of thumb. I don't even know what you're talking about at this point. Same. Look at finger painting. I'm, I think it's too small to put any on there. It's never too small. Let me see. Yes, it can be too small. Let me see. Size doesn't matter, G. <laughs> yes, it does! <laughs> Theory! Why are you so superficial with your men, huh? I'm talking about it. <laughs> oh, no. It, it looks oh, like there should be room for ornaments. I just gotta make really tiny balls. Wait. <laughs> like, like the crit, like the, like the decoration Christmas balls. That does. That sounds worse. Um. <laughs> Okay. Not particularly, no. I just said this phrase. I think Christmas anyone balls. in this server is okay. Uh, I think anyone. I think anyone who says the phrase Christmas balls has a few screws loose. Are you dating Santa Claus, Jerry? No. I'm. Are you sure? You're talking. Are you wait, not? Wait, are, do you mean to be talking to, to me? I'm the one who was talking about Christmas balls. Why are you randomly asking Jiri? I don't know. Are you dating Santa Claus? Yes. Is Santa Claus a f is Santa Claus secretly a femboy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've heard of Mrs. Claus. What does that What is that supposed <laughs> to tell me? Ah, oh, yes, you've heard of insert the person's love interest. <laughs> You have the logical processing skills of a goldfish. I do, I do indeed. <laughs> Thank you for noticing finally. It's not someone... noticing it's not noticing finally, it's just someone dared to say it. And everyone someone is correct, because everyone else was too much of a pussy to say anything. Everybody hear that? You're all pussies for not saying that the child has the reasoning skills of a goldfish. It's better than I'm a sloth. I'm talking little shit and stupid all the time. Yeah, but you never oh. mentioned goldfish. And goldfish yeah, are yummy. Yeah, how would I talk about fish? I'm a snake. You eat them. Does that mean I talk about them all the time? No. I, I talk about chocolate all the time. Well, come to think of it. She talks about things getting eaten all the time, but it's generally not in that context. Yeah, it's because Pika's a little fucked up in the head. Uh, um... Did you get a shiny? Lemon? Oh! Lemon! Oh no, what's oh, lemon, yeah, lemon doing? Fly. Lemon! No, it's fine, lemon, not lemon can fly. Oh no! Lemon! <laughs> oh no, lemon, what are you? Lemon! Lemon, me boy! Lemon! Lemon is a boy. father, by the way. Lemon's okay. a father? Yeah, yeah, Lemon's a father. Lemon. He has three kids. Long live <laughs> he doesn't, the king. He doesn't play- he doesn't pay child support. He's a bit of a shit dad. <laughs> he look, he looks like he's constantly poking up like, hey. 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 You talking hey. about me? <laughs> huh? You talking about my kids? <laughs> Lemon, you should pay child support. It's not good to not pay child support. I am a Pokemon. I have no money. Uh, yeah, you do. He has no money. He, he, he doesn't have money. He does. Right. I saw him Lemon. buy... Oh, and Lemon's gone. I saw him buy some carbon... Oh, Lemon's off back. Of, ...off of a lichen rock. He likes Whoa, to buy weed. You saw him buy some carbon off of a lichen. Yeah, carbon are steroids in this game. The fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Or iron. Iron. Other stuff. It's all all the same. I think Penguin is I think I'm insane. And 
for an, uh, and their already poor reasoning skills have fallen even further. No, fuck you. I am perfectly fine. Sure. Okay, oh, ask me a question. No. Ask me a question. Go on. Ask. What is the capital of Denmark? I don't know. Ask ask a different one. Ask something I know. What is the capital uh, of Sweden? What's 66... Wait, wait, wait. What's 666 squared? I don't know math. I thought you said ask anything. Ask anything I know. <laughs> Penguin, what is the circumference of this cone in my hand? Seven. Seven. It's seven. The actual answer was zero. There is no cone in my hand. This was a trick question. How the fuck am I supposed to know what's in your hand or what's not? You could well, be maybe holding... you should. Well, you see, that's the thing. If you had half a brain, you would have actually asked some more clarifying questions. Because me just saying, measure the circumference of this cone that you know nothing about, is physically fucking impossible. <laughs> okay. Well, to my knowledge, you could be holding Festus in your hand, with, along with a, a small a chicken. Cone. This is not a cone. Festus, Festus is cat shaped. <laughs> Festus is friend shaped. He is not a cone. Are you? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> are you sure? He is. the The closest you can get is he is an oblate oval. spheroid. Oh, oval. You're calling him an oval. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you call a chunky cat. Egg shape. That's a good. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. He's pretty chonky. He is egg, but not trans egg. He is just egg. You have you asked your cat what his pronouns are? Yeah, come to the, Festus. <laughs> Festus, are you trans? He didn't even look at me. <laughs> Festus, is your cat transphobic? Festus, are you trans? It's called the cat doesn't care. When cats He's... wink, that's their way of saying, I love you. <laughs> he... I said, Festus, are you trans again? And he looked at me like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> so the first time Hatchet asked, the cat just said, I love you. The second okay. time, they gave them a confused look. Okay, Stand standard way that I get cats to decide things. I'm going to touch both of his ears at the same time. With fingers, if he turns his head to the right, he's saying yes, he is trans. If he turns his head to the left, he's saying no, he is not trans. Here we go. Wait. Hang on. He is not trans. Oh. Festus is a cis. Are you going to bed, right? A cis. Um, uh, I need the uh, last words of people, then we're going to raid you. Oh yeah, cause she was streaming. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh. Dragon, last words go. Uh. Sappho. Good poet. Men. Smelly. Dick all cocks from Man Island. <laughs> uh, Darna, last words go. Um, I subscribe. Uh, well, sorry for yeah, follow, subscribe. Fuck. Also, yeah, if you're watching on <clears throat> YouTube, I bet Brightwood appreciate a like. Um, and the right is a bird. Yay. Jerry, uh, last words go. If All Cox Island was a real place, I'd still not go. Uh, it's Man <laughs> Island, actually. Get it right. Yeah. yeah All, Cox, All Cox is the name of the man for Man Island. <laughs> yeah, get okay. it right. Would you go to Man Island? No. I already have level 11 friends. Why would I? more. <laughs> you go to Man Island and immediately start collecting dozens of more Huns. I didn't try 
before. <laughs> I never tried. Anyway. I didn't like collect men. It just happened. You know, you know Jerry is over here, like, living the real life, you know, like, having their own little, like, knockoff of Pokemon. You know, you, you got to... You, you gotta gay them all, you know? <laughs> oh, God. It's not Pokemon! Have you ever oh looked at the names on my status and thought, yeah, they've got pretty much every guy there? Yeah. <laughs> there are but ten guys. You have them all. Congratulations. I thought there was only five guys. guys. There used thought... to be ten, now there's eleven. I thought there were five guys. <laughs> Oh no! Sure. They got. Look at, my, look at my look at my status and count the names. Anyway, one, I'm... two, three, four, five. There's five guys. <laughs> Shut up, dragon. <laughs> anyway, you don't see the entire thing, do you? I see the entire no, thing. The, there's five. The, no, the child is making a joke about five guys' burgers and fries. Oh. Yeah. Do you anyway. eat five guys? No. Oh, yes, but no. That's, well, a, I, that's a bad joke. I would say something, but the child is here. Anyway. Dr you're, the uh, thing you're uh, probably going to say is the joke I was trying to make. Dragon, no. Anyway, mm. catch it. Go. And remember, kids, the underside of the inside is actually the outside of the underside. I don't think that means anything. My lungs are in pain. Yeah, that's me inside your lungs. I'm trying to cause you to have a uh, lung failure. Anyway. Um, anyway, Danger News, I hope you enjoyed me shiny hunting. We actually got a, sh a shiny this stream by killing a bunch of babies. Okay, the question is when don't you kill babies? I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, my bestest. Anyway, uh, I'm not, before I end stream, we're going to be raiding uh, a good friend, Chu, and uh, our word will be oh, well. oh well. Dick all cocks of Man Island. Send Dick all cocks of Man <laughs> Island. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Y'all have fun with that. I'm not even on my browser. Three, two, one. Imagine being that much of a memer before 